Good to see you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at all the emotes. Oh my goodness. Hey, really? How's it going? Jump the notification this time. Nice. Nice. Uh, glass of whimsy. Hey, and we've got May Lynn. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. <laughs> We're not going shopping. We're going to the deep sea volcano. And you guys aren't losers. I just, I just thought that would be a fun thing to quote. <laughs> and hey, bluesy. Hey, everybody. How's it going? How you guys all doing today? Hope you're good. <laughs> Got a couple supper lurkers. That's all good. That's all good. You walk in the office as Zach's explaining to some friends. You go, hey, uh, don't go into the bedroom. You're just kind of small walk away. <laughs> oh boy. If it makes you feel better, my bedroom's kind of a kind of a wreck too. <laughs> I woke up this morning. And I was stretching, I was stretching and I like wrenched my neck. I was so mad. I was like, I was stretching so that this kind of thing would not happen. And I was out of commission like all morning. I was like, oh man, lying down with ice and stuff, trying to like, oh, got to move around a little bit, but not too much, but like just enough. Yeah. Anyway, that sucked. <laughs> um... That's why I had to cancel this morning. I'm so sorry about that. And it was last minute, it was like 10 2, and I sat down on my computer. I was like, no, I can still stream. Like, no, it's not gonna happen. So, yeah, right? Oof, the neck. The neck is the worst. Like, if your neck or your back, if it's your neck or your back, you just, you just like can't move. If it's like an arm or a leg, like my arm was a little sore after my shot last week. That was okay. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna pour coffee with my other arm instead. You know, that's why they asked you what your arm you wanted in. Because you have two of them. So if one hurts, you can just leave that one alone. Just ignore it and use the other one. You only have one neck, you only have one spine. If something in there hurts, you're like, you're done, right? Also, just as I was coming to the computer just now, I thought of a couple of puns for Slime Rancher. Uh, so... I just was gonna write those. We got Good Morning. And, oh shoot, what was the other one? It's about slime. <laughs> you know how the, the slimes in Dragon Quest all have like goofy words and stuff? So, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good old day today. Hope you've been having fun. Have you all been up to? I'm still putting in my their slime rancher puns. Okay. I did tell you guys I got slime rancher, right? We're gonna be playing that soon. That'll probably take the Subnautica slot, I'm assuming. I don't know. I also have Chrono Trigger to start. I'm thinking that'll be a next month game. We'll see. I have no idea how close to done I am with this game. No idea. It seems like we're making good progress. So, I don't know. I really don't know. But, today we're going to the volcanic area. And then hopefully that'll be, that should be a fun time. Hopefully not too scary. Maybe just a little bit scary, I don't know. I'm gonna grab some with coffee because I just remembered that I have that. Mm. Oh, okay. Crush depth now 900 meters times two. What? Also, something's really like buggy in the middle there where all the text is on top of. I don't know why it's all over that. Why am I looking down? Okay. Hmm. That was a little bit spooky. Power restored. Okay, okay. Welp. I think I set myself up last time that we're all good. Bring So we're gonna bring the prawn suit to the jelly shroom caves. <gasps> Mine stuff with our new drill arm. We got a drill arm. So we can we can play it like Minecraft now. Um, there's, oh, there's vaccine research because we're like super duper duper infected. Like extra 
super extra infected. Look how infected we are. Yep. Pretty infected. In college, I worked to construct and pave a cul-de-sac. It was a dead end job. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you for the biddies and the joke, Herschel. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you don't have a sore neck because it sucks. <laughs> that did cheer me up a little, though. Thank you. I appreciate that. Cul de sac. Technically, a cul de sac isn't a dead end, it's just like a loop, right? So, to recap on last time, we went and found some super cool. Uh, super cool alien stuff. Look at this. We were in this place. They had, they were, they've been studying all these critters. They have, um, a warper that they, they basically androided it up. They added a bunch of, like, Robocop stuff to it. So that's neat. And then we're infected. If you look at, this is my character's hands. We got a bit of a tan. Hands are darker than usual. <laughs> that's, that's a joke. Anyway. Uh, but we got this infection, so that was kind of cool and scary. And then this weird alien thing, like, appeared in front of me. And I think I clipped it, although I didn't get a screenshot. I didn't get a screenshot fast enough. Uh, but I clipped it, and there was this thing that said, What are you? And it was really spooky and cool. Um, and it turns out that we need to... Why did I get these? I don't know why I got those. Oh, for water, maybe? Anyways, it turns out... We need to go to the volcano. There's a volcano area. We need to go in there with the prawn suit, which is the only thing that can survive hot, hot temperatures like that. And then, uh, hopefully there's going to be some information on this disease and a vaccine for it. And this seems, uh, a little too real, to be honest. A little too real. A little bit too real. Hi. Uh, you're having a good day. I'm glad you're having a good day. And I'm glad you check up on, on us, too. Checking up on everybody. You're a good guy. You're a good guy, Herschel. Let me put this away. So we have this. Uh, let's cook the... Why can't I cook the bladder fish? Is it already... What? Cooked bladder fish. Oh, I have two cured... Oh, I'm good. We have food. We have some titanium. Alright, guys. Hopefully this won't be too scary. If it is, too bad, I guess. Hey, Focus! How are you doing? It's good to see you. Did you end up streaming more Monster Hunter this morning? I, I had to sit out my stream this morning and I wanted to check up on- I wanted to check in your stream and like other people and I was just like, I can't move, I, I can't- I don't want to think or do anything. <laughs> So let's see this guy has in his storage. <gasps> Good. A battery. A beacon. Extra storage. Water. Food. Health. I hate to say it, guys, but looks like we're all prepared and good. So all that's left is to go, I guess. <sighs> captain. Oof. Alright. Yeah, welcome aboard, Captain. Wait, where are we? Where is this? Oh, gosh. Do we have to take the... Uh-oh. Oops, I'm falling. Oh, do we have to take the Cyclops? We do, don't we? Where did I leave that thing? Oh, this is the jump module. Oh, dang. Oh, dang! <laughs> Reach for the sky! Oh, that scared me! Okay, ready? Pew! We go like Superman. Pew! Oh, dang! <laughs> that was kind of neat. That was kind of neat. Oh, that kind of startled me a little bit. Uh, but that was neat. <laughs> Tried to share a video of Hotel California lyrics, but unfortunately it's unavailable due to copyright laws. Oh, that sucks. Hotel California is a creepy song, isn't it? You check in, but you can never leave. Something like that. Where the heck is the... Uh, I was gonna say this. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, where the heck is the Subnautica? Woo! Oh, and it recharges while we're falling? I don't think it did that before. All right, today was oh today was Mario Maker and Donkey Kong Country. Oh, did you just start that, or have you been playing that? And I've been, I've probably been under a rock. <laughs> Tomorrow's Pokemon presents, but have to wait till after stream. Or are they doing that again? 
Is Nintendo doing that again where they're like, no, you can't? I have my repair thing, right? Yeah. Okay, literally no excuses. Let's go. Ah, just jump into the submarine. So weird. So weird. All systems online. Cool. All right. We're good to go, I guess. In the submarine! Yeah, let's go. Whew. You don't know if your internet can handle watching a stream while you stream. Oh, okay, that's that's fair. Because what was it that Nintendo... Was it their... Oh, it was their E3. Okay, that kind of makes sense. It's E3, right? It's like the big thing. They're like, no, no, no. We want you to see it here first. Where the heck is that purple going down place? Wait, is it there? No. Could watch it, but focusing queen couldn't watch it as an ESO. Yeah, and I probably can't watch it here either. That does happen a lot. Wait, I'm worried that our ghost friend is gonna show up. I really don't want to be attacked. I really don't feel like being attacked by a leviathan today, you know? Oh shoot, there's that life pod we have to check out too. Wait, is that in the volcanic place? I don't even know. I have this game too loud. Are you heckin' kidding me? I bet it's him. I bet it's that stupid guy. I can't even see anything. What? There it is! You stupid- Oh my god! No. No. You're not supposed to be here, you jerk. He's not allowed to be here. He's programmed to not go here. And he does anyways! Cause he's a heckin' jerk. He's a jerk. Look how close we are to the- I was gonna say the ceiling. Look how close we are- this is the surface. Ugh! He's the worst. There he is! Right there! Right heckin' there! That is not allowed. Ugh! <sighs> anyways. Ooh, E3 had to just dance trip. Just dance is such a fun game. Changing the subject. I don't like when the music does that. <laughs> Wonder how much of Monster Hunter Stories 2 you have left story-wise. I don't know much about stories, but I know like the main Monster Hunter games. As soon as like something starts to happen, that's like the beginning. Oops, I think we're... Whoops. You're like, okay, we beat the big boss thing, and they're like, okay, great, now you get to start the game, and then they get all kinds of, like, big stuff happening. I broke the game. I don't... My game is just broken. Look how weird that looks from up here. Looking in the window, that's what that is. Oh, I don't, I don't like this thing, I can't see, worth a dang. Welcome back from Lurk, Ridley, did you get your supper? Or you start supper? <laughs> You call him Randy Orton? <laughs> oh, that's a wrestler. Okay, I don't feel- I was gonna feel bad for not knowing who that is, and then he said you're on a wrestling kick. Like, I don't need to know who wrestlers are. I know Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage. That's the main guys. And John Cena! Du -du -du -du. I know that guy. <laughs> the Viathan isn't supposed to be there. I know! I know! And he, he is, and he keeps attacking me, and he's the worst. He's the worst! He's right outside, like, my main base. He's right between my two bases, and it sucks. So there's, like, a lot of glitchy stuff in here. You heard the game is quite a bit of post-story stuff? That might be part of it. Can't escape the music. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down a little. Ugh. The music in here is so good, but it just, it keeps me on edge. So I need to, um... Also, I've been calling him Seth. It, uh, you know, for like a while. So I mean, if you want to call him Randy, that's that's cool. I can call him Seth Orton, maybe. I don't. Anyways. Anyway, I don't know where to go. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the purple place. I can't remember where it is. And I don't want to take the Cyclops, but I think I kind of have to take the Cyclops to get the prawn suit close enough. I was hoping it was one of these guys attacking me, but alas, I don't. See, I don't like being. At the surface. As much as it creeps me out being in the water, being above the water in a submarine is worse. Somehow. 
Anyway, where the heck is the purple spot? And is it closer to my main base or blood base? Cause I don't remember. Don't hit that, don't hit that, okay. Sheesh. I love this game, but I'm kinda I'm kinda ready to to finish it, you know? So we're we're going for we're going for escape. We're going for get the vaccine, get this bacterial thing up. <laughs> Seth, it is your you stream your names. Well, I mean, you know, we've got Sammy the safety reaper. We can have Seth the ghosty boy. But he just does what he wants. He he first came up like right over here. And it sucks. Where the heck am I going? Ridley, do you know where I'm going? Where's the purple place? Isn't it near there? Is it there? It's around here somewhere. I feel like I should just park the Cyclops. What did I just- was that you? Was that you? Stop! <laughs> he makes so much noise when these tiny fish hit the thing. Oh god, I need like a third person view. This is so hard. Alright. Get away from the base. Don't hit the base. See, it's not even safe here. The Leviathan just comes over once. What's the biggest creature I've seen so far? Yeah, probably Ghosty Boy. I think it's Ghosty Boy. I'm gonna put this here. I hope it's sorta of safe. Oh, that's a nice view. Where the heck am I? No, 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 no. Sheesh. You looked up the live-action Monster Hunter movie? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I call that movie Wasted Opportunity. Or Disappointment. Or or just simply, why? <laughs> Doesn't seem it's out any- Yeah, I don't- I don't care. <laughs> I don't care to watch it. Gonna lurk, have a great stream. Thanks. I'll try. <laughs> no, I will. I will. I always have fun with this game, but it's- it's heckin' scary. Alright. Oh wait, we gotta power this thing off. I don't want to be in here. Engine powering down. Engine powering down. Okay, great. Aw, oh, heck! Ah! We need to fix- uh, we need to fix. We barely even got attacked. We need to fix. I don't know if this is some kind of, like, mini-phobia. Is there such a thing as a mini-phobia? But there are things that just don't sit right with me. And... Oh, there. Is this bad? If What happens if I leave this unattended? I don't want to leave it unattended. Can you fix... Sheesh. Alright. I think it's fine. I don't- I don't know. <sighs> Alright. Get- I think I'll enjoy the Netflix Monster Hunter movie 58 minutes. Wait, 58 minutes? The animated one? Is it only 58 minutes? Where's our health? More damage! Ah, oh, heck! I don't want to deal with this. I really liked the, uh, Dragon Quest movie. That was awesome. Also, so yeah, I don't know if this is, like, any kind of thing, but... Oh, there. I don't know. Just being in here and water coming in just creeps- it, it freaks me out. I don't know... The Cyclops is the scariest thing in this game. Like, <laughs> I'd, I'd rather... <laughs> I'd almost rather just be in a dark cave, swimming by hand. I think I would rather that than being swimming in like a dark cave or underground with- under- in a cave underwater with this thing. <sighs> okay. So we're good now, right? We're good? Does that make sense? I have like- I don't know if it's a phobia or just- just- I don't think it's a phobia. Because a phobia is like a crippling fear of something, right? But like, is there like a mini phobia where it's just being freaked out by something that doesn't freak people out normally? Oh, I don't want anything to do with that decoy launcher because I'm going to pop outside the ship. 
Energy. Oh, we used a lot of energy. Rass of frass. That's missing a lot. I think that when you get the submarine, you're supposed to be like, wow, the submarine, this is awesome. This is the best thing ever. And I can't, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It just scares me more. Okay. Well, I guess we can go charge this. Well, actually, wait, are these all full? Give me that. I'll give you a full one. I'm gonna take another full one out of here. Go charge these two that are not full. I thought we were on the slow mode and we were on like faster mode. So it was a little bit more energy consuming. Okay. We're getting in this thing. We're hopping out of here. I don't want to take the Cyclops anywhere. I don't have to. Okay. Okay. This is too early for me to be freaked out. Oh, that's my footsteps. I'm like, what's the sound? No! <laughs> no! I don't want to go in there. <sighs> yeah, your story is a fun time. It was a really cool story. And that was, yeah, Dragon Welcome Quest Five. That's Captain. what it was. I want to play Dragon Quest V. That would be cool. I've played only a little bit of seven, And I honestly didn't get very far. I don't want to go out there. <laughs> I don't want to go out there, chat. <laughs> Probably the sterile pre-designed nature that is jarring. Oh, of the Cyclops? I think that's, yeah, part of it. And just, it's it's too big. I feel claustrophobic in there, I think is what it is. I, I feel claustrophobic in there, but not in, like, the little sea moth. The sea moth is fine because I'm one click from freedom, right? But even if it was just if it was just the front portion, I'd be super I'd be like this is the best thing ever. But it's it's so big and it's like I can't get out quickly. I mean I go down the stairs and there's a hatch right there, you know, so it's not too bad, but I just I, I think it's because I can't like I can't see what's going on when I'm in there. If a monster attacks, I can't I've never even seen a creature attack me. I wouldn't know if it wasn't like warning, creature attack. And that doesn't help when there's like, row, 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 and everything's like red flashing lights and, you know, that's pretty terrifying. <laughs> so, I think that's, and we're gonna wait till, till it's light out, by the way. And then we're gonna go, but, um, <laughs> god, I'm such a chicken. <laughs> Are people usually this fearful when they're playing this game? It's weird, because I feel like... Usually, if you're scared of a game, you just don't play it. But I still enjoy this game, so I want to play it, but I'm scared. So I'm, like, forcing myself a little bit, you know? Ah. Uh. Anyway. Is it getting light yet? Oh, but I was gonna say, like, I don't know if there's a word for, like, a mini-phobia. Just stuff that freaks you out. It's, like, not a paralyzing, crippling fear. But it freaks you out. I don't know if you guys have anything like this, but for me, it's water. It's like water. So stuff in the water. Even for the longest time, if I'm doing dishes and there's like something left in the bottom of the sink, I wouldn't want to like reach in if the water like cooled off. Like when it's hot soapy water and you're washing dishes, it's all good. But when it's like kind of cooled, it's just like tepid water and there's like stuff down there. Like I don't want to reach in the sink. Like I've, I've gotten over that because <laughs> I have to do dishes all the time. But that I don't like. I don't. I just don't like stuff in water. Or like if there's a pool with like pool toys in it. I don't like pool toys. But I'm not sure what that is. Like let me know if any of you guys can relate. Either with water or like something else. But it, it's just like it just freaks me out a little. And w water at night time. So water at night and stuff in the water. And I think there was something else. But maybe I got over it and I can't remember. Which should be okay. So this game is hard to play. <laughs> this game is hard for me to play, but I do like it. Uh, where's the purple area? I think it's over here somewhere. I right, stay away from you. I don't want you opening up. Man, this grass is deep. I want to drill some stuff. That'll that'll probably make me feel better. Cyclops would be great in multiplayer. Yes, that's. I really 
I really, I would love the heck out of this. Like, I already really like this game. I would be obsessed with it if it was multiplayer. I'd be Dragon Frequency for Deep Sea Adventures all the time. And especially, like, it's like begging for it. It's begging for it. The base building and stuff, and the survival aspect, and like, the Cyclops is designed for three people. So please, let me have three people. Or at least two people. At least two people. I don't remember where the jelly place is. It's close to my other base. Ah, uh, shoot. I'm just gonna walk around in this and hopefully not get hit by any- Oh, let's mine this because we can now. Ooh. Ooh. Look at us go. Are we- are we getting it all? This is taking some time. Oh, there we go. Oh, you can, like, drill more pieces off of it? Just, like, drill off as much as you want? Man, this game- I really hope that they make a third one that's multiplayer. This is some sound. This is some sound right here. Imagine a- a prawn dentist. He's like, alright, open up! <laughs> Man, I would love to see this game with multiplayer. I don't think it'd even be that hard to add, would it? I don't know. Oh yeah, vehicle storage. I can't check my vehicle storage from in here, can I? That would be cool. Supper is on the stove. Nice! Welcome back, class. What are you having for supper? Oh, I really want to finish this game. <sighs> that salt. Is that lithium or something? Lithium. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Don't crush these loud boys. Even Minecraft used to freak me out. <laughs> if I was, like, mining by myself, I had to be listening to music or something. I don't normally listen to music when I play games, because I want to hear the game. But in a game like this, where there's so much ambient sound designed literally just to spook you, I feel like I would- I would probably be listening to music with this. Ugh. Yummy round steak and gravy, potatoes, cauliflower, green beans, and rice. Wow. It's not a restaurant. <laughs> potatoes and cauliflower and rice. See, the game just does this. All the time. I have no idea how much lithium we got from that. Alright, let's go over here. Oh yeah, we have this now. We can Spider-Man a little. Why is it going down there? What the heck? This is cool. This thing was so not viable before. Whoop! I still can't really steer worth a darn, but I have this. I can kind of drag myself a little bit where I want to be. Can I punch this thing? And step on it. Uh, gosh. I should have packed more food and water. I'm just going and expeditioning on this thing. We. I should have actually just left the Cyclops alone. I should have left it. Because the purple place is in here somewhere, I think. No, we're not going to Danger House. Whoop. Are you grabbing stuff or what, dude? Okay. <sighs> no! Why are you here? Ah! Why are you here, dude? Please. <sighs> it's a shame because I feel like the glitches are ruining a lot of the experience for me. Because I'm constantly scared that that guy's just gonna show up and 
eat me or attack my submarine. I don't even know where he went. Like, he really, he should not be anywhere near here. And he wasn't, but then once I kind of discovered him, he just started sort of following me around. Which is not cool, by the way. Not cool. Not cool ghost behavior. I guess he's not a real ghost, but still. You need to stop, mister. Seriously. I'm so not enthused. Not enthused. And he's making me not even want to be here. And this is like an early thing. This is super early. This was like the first pod I found, wasn't it? This thing is not so good at strafing. Uh. Okay. Oh, I guess I can look for the Degasi thing. I don't know. Uh. Okay. And we have to see this too. I don't know where that is. I want to go to this one. Proposed Degasi habitat. There. Okay. I really want to. I want to piece this together. You know, I really do. And I want to watch a bunch of lore videos and stuff when I'm done. I just want to get through the game at this point, though, because honestly, it is getting a little stressful. <laughs> the glitches really are not helping. Because I've got the ghost guy just going wherever he wants. Where I'm supposed to be able to go somewhere and know that he's not coming and he just shows up. Basically, he can show up wherever he wants. I don't think there's anywhere now that he just won't go. I actually felt safest, like, in his house, in the area where he's supposed to be, because I was like, oh, well, here he seems to behave properly. He only goes, like, in this one certain area or whatever. And then the glitch of just, like, falling out of my rest, uh, restaurant. I just saw your message in chat. Um, the, what was I gonna say? Shoot, I should have two. That is a lot of copper and stuff. Okay, give me these. Um, Captain. just like falling out of the Cyclops too. That's really scary because I don't know when that'll happen. I can just kind of fall out and I'm just sort of screwed, so. Alright, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save and just trust that I can get out of here. Okay. What's wrong with that guy? Oh gosh, okay. Here we go. Jumping right in. Oh god. Oh! What the heck? We're in like a volcano, what the heck was that? All right, we're not going in there. Oh, this jump thing is so, what the heck? Have I never swum down there before? It's just a, it's like an actual volcano. Wait, is there somewhere down there I can go? I panicked and I thought I was taking damage, but I guess I wasn't? Is that where I'm supposed to go, chat? Ridley, are you still hanging out? Are you been my tour guide? Is that where I'm supposed to go? I really... Is that it? I know I'm supposed to go to a volcanic area. You never played this. Why do I keep thinking that you had? Because <laughs> you're such good moral support, or emotional support, I guess. We need Rain Man. Rain Man split. Who else had played this? I can't even remember. I know Rain Man had. Oh gosh, I don't know if I want to go in there. Okay, we'll go part way in. We'll go onto this, oops, this little section. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Heckin' ghost boy. Do I wanna... I was standing in that, it was fine. You're gonna say yes? 
Wish I could help while you say this game is freaking terrifying. That's the opposite of helpful. <laughs> ah! Okay. Oh, wait, this is just. I'm trying to figure out if that's. No, I can't. I can't go. I don't want to. I can't go down there. Ah! Uh, but this leads out. So you're supposed to take this little tunnel and then be like. Phew! Really, holy crap. Okay, we're 82 meters down. Look at this, we're just here. And dummy man ghost boy is around somewhere, I'm sure. <sighs> okay. Aye, aye, aye. I don't remember where the purple place is. I think it was closer to home. Oops. Can I pick this up? Can I not pick stuff up anymore? I guess I used to have hands. I don't have hands anymore. Game, you've got to stop it with these sounds, man. Okay. I do want to pick this up, though, because we still need titanium. Still need titanium. I like how I can just put this in my pocket, this whole thing. Also, May, I think I said hi to you. I did. Hey, Jedi Muppet. I do not know what E10 is. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Uh, where are we going? I cannot remember. Can we go down here? I don't know if we can go down there. Can definitely go up here though. All right. Uh, I did say hello to you. Okay, that's good. Is, yeah, that's why that's going away. Thanks for the attempted joke though. Anyways, um, I'm trying to find this purple jelly shroom place. I can't remember where it is. Ugh, this guy is stressing me out. He's not supposed to be anywhere near here. He's making my life more difficult than it needs to be. I don't know what happens if he attacks me in this thing. Actually, I don't know what happens if he attacks me in the sea moth either. I know that the reaper leviathan... What is this? Kind of critters in there. Oh, that's probably the explodey guys. Um. Wait, have I seen this before? Is this a new fishy? What is that? What are you? What are you? Are you something new? What is this? Is this a fish? How come I can't? What? This game is weird. And glitchy. So much info to this game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... And I wish I had a proper map that I could, like, mark things on. Because right now I'm, I'm trying to get somewhere that I went to like a long time ago and I can't remember where it is. Whee! That's kind of nice though. Doing that. I guess we'll just wander around till we fall down somewhere and hope for the best. This game really is neat. Um, I just wish my, my file wasn't glitched. <laughs> I don't know what caused it. I don't know if I was just unlucky or if I did something. I tend to cause a lot of bugs in games that I play, and I'm not sure how or why, but like this guy is like a late game thing and I'm in the starting area. He's not allowed to be here, but he is anyways. Isn't it great? But yeah, this is like... Yeah, he's out there. He's not supposed to be, but he's out there, so that's good. This game freaks me that out. There he is again. Somewhere. 
There he is. Yep, just doing his thing. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Oh, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. You know what? It'll actually be less stressful underground. Because he won't be there. Oh, boy. I'm trying to, like, press M to bring up my map, but that is a different game. It's like every other game. Just think of him as a giant dangerous puppy. There you go. I mostly- I just don't want him destroying my stuff. Because it's all hard to make. It all took a long time to, to make stuff. I cannot remember where this place is. I'm starting to feel lost. Jeez, <laughs> oh, it was like... Last blood base. Where's my main base? Main base. I'm gonna go towards my main base. I think it was pretty close. It was like a hop, skip, and a jump, you know? I was thinking of the stalkers as big dangerous puppies, actually. You see any glowing purple? Let me know. Oh, like that, except it goes down instead of in there. Because that's a jellyfish, I think, or something. Oop. Are these causing that light? I guess so. It's like this dinging sound. Seth, go home, dude. Go home. Giant dangerous puppy. He followed me here. There's our base. See, this is our main base. This is my starting area. And he's like right there. He's not supposed to be. We should go see our puppy though, right? We should go see our puppy. Maybe that's why I'm all freaked out. I haven't said hi to our cuttlefish yet. Game, I swear, with the with the sound, you gotta you gotta cease with the sounds. Alright, we got a little puppy last time though. Let's see if we can find him. We just let him loose around here, and I was assured that it was a safe place for him. I think he's over here. Oh, and I left my sea moth here. Still good with the... Good, okay. There he is! Here he is, look at this. Hey, little buddy. Look, we can play with him. We can get a little biscuit. See? Isn't he cute? So, he's staying here because it's relatively safe. He's not coming with me. He is cute, though. I don't know where I have to go. Uh, I might as well put this lithium away, though, since I'm here. Welcome aboard, Captain. And I guess I should make my titanium. Also, last time we were basically told we had two weeks to live, and I'm not sure how worried I should be about that, you know? <laughs> how strict are they on that? I don't know. Wait, what else can I make? Oh, no thanks. No thanks. <sighs> Where's our trees? We have trees here, don't we? Yeah, we have trees. Here we go. Oh, and that can use another seed. Are these really what I'm supposed to... Oops. 12 and 14, yeah, that is pretty good. Oof. I think we're good, but still, I'm just gonna... There. <sighs> Worries. Wait, why are you worried? Oops, no, I do want that. Thank you, put some salt away. We don't have enough salt. 
That's not where titanium goes. We have a titanium box just for that. We have two titanium boxes just for that, actually. All right. And I don't really want to think about stuff. I just want to wander around and hopefully find the purple place. How was your guys' day, though? What are, what are you guys up to on this fine Tuesday? Let's get more cured fish, I think. Just to be safe. Hey, little friend. He's so cute. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Ooh, the peeper is good food. Come here. Oh. Peeper. Aw. Our little kettlefish is making noise. <laughs> Not much. Oh, you've got two weeks to live. Yeah. They said that other things that ha that were infected with the same thing I was infected with were only lasting about two weeks. No pressure, right? No pressure. Ah! Seth! I don't know. He's here, but he's also where he's supposed to be. It's like there's two of them. He just goes where he wants. He's super mean. Obligatory driving through tropical systems remains today. What? Wait, I don't think I know what your job is. But was it fun? I hope you had fun. <laughs> Rearranging the bedroom because Zach said you weren't allowed to rearrange the office. <laughs> well, I gotta rearrange something! Wait, are these normal peepers? Why do they look weird? Well, they probably just look weird because I haven't seen them in a while. What's the wrong one? This one. We take some salt. And then we combine it. Let me put this titanium away. And copper away. And lithium and all this crap. Here's some fish. We'll have lots of food with us. Uh, we're gonna get so lost that I just want to have a bunch of food and not have to worry. Ugh. How has it already been an hour? And I haven't, <laughs> I haven't found where I'm supposed to be going. Yeesh, but we got lots of food, so that's good. We got lots of water, too. Probably more than we need. But that's okay, I think can stay out for a long time now. Yeah, I'll take an extra one of those, why not? I gotta rearrange my studio. I wanna get, like, a proper desk and everything, and, like, a really good setup. Actually, no, we're gonna get out of here and look around first. Cause I know the purple area was around here somewhere. I want to go see that, and I don't know if I should see that right now. That's where we want to go to. Yeah, no, we're good. We'll just... You want a desk? You're currently using a foldable table. Yeah, definitely get a desk. Definitely. I want to get a standing desk, or like an adjustable one, so I can stand if I want, or I can sit if I want. I can sit low or high or whatever I want. Whatever's comfy. Because it's also different, like, if I'm playing PC games, I'm, like, sitting up and I want to have my arm on the armrest and all this. Seth, you better cut it out, buddy. You better leave me alone. He can be here as long as he's not bothering me. As long as he's not, like, attacking me, I guess it's... I guess he can... I guess if he's not bothering anyone, he can hang out. This is all super cool, but scary. That's the one thing I miss about my job. The desks. <laughs> and they, cause it's like, it was a nice office. So it had all this like, um, how do we get in there? It had all this like ergonomic stuff and it had like ergonomic, uh, de um, obviously desk. Ergonomic, um, are you kidding me? Can you crouch in this thing? <gasps> Ergonomic keyboard thing. It had like a keyboard tray and you could tilt it every which way and I thought that was just the bee's knees. Love to have one of those. 
I suggest IKEA desks. They're amazing. You can make custom make a desk. Hey, that sounds neat. That sounds neat. Uh, where are we going again? Where is it? Where the proposed Degasi thing? I just, I just. Oh, it's there. Let's just drill through the ground here. I don't actually have that much. To, uh, I should have brought an extra power cell, like an extra, extra power cell. I'm telling your sister, the biggest burden on your table is the house phone since it's with the internet. Yeah, that would do it. That would do it for sure. I let's go down here, I guess. I don't know where I'm going. But I was thinking Ikea, like, I know they have some good standing desks. I've seen them at Costco, too, but I've seen, like, cheap ones, and I've seen good ones, and... It doesn't even need to be motorized. It doesn't even need to be motorized. I don't mind, like, turning a crank to adjust the height of the desk. And we're, like, near Danger House again? Or not Danger House, Blood Base? Jeez, dude. Don't! Sheesh! <laughs> leave me alone, dude! Just leave me alone, please. Oh, it's down here! Are you kidding me? It was right here the whole time? There's... My base is, like, right there? Or, right... There's one base, there's one base. Where's my close to here base? Where's blood base? I lost track of it. Uh... Oh, blood base, yeah. Whatever. Alright, well, let's uh, go, I guess. I can kind of inch my way down if I can. I don't really want to just fall all the way down there. Although, let's just fall down there. Why not? Alright. This is the place we were looking for. Jelly Shroom Caves, apparently, it's, it's called. And there's a volcano under it. So that's, uh, good. Not sure if it's me, but it's only Tuesday. It's felt like a long week. <laughs> yeah, I thought tomorrow was gonna be Friday already. Like, what the hey? So, do we go down there? I'm gonna save again since we're finally here. You wanna go to Staples this weekend to see? <laughs> I just, I've been to Staples recently looking for chairs. It's so hard to find a good chair. If anybody has like a really good chair that's like super comfy, please do let me know. Cause I'm not sure about this one either. And I feel like a pain in the, like, it's a big pain in the butt because if you buy a chair, you get it in a box, you have to take it home and you put it all together and you test it out. And then if it's no good, you gotta bring it back. And some places might make you disassemble it and put it back in the box, but otherwise you're just being a pain in the butt customer. And they're like, oh great, here's a chair that I get to whatever, you know? So, and I'm very conscious of annoying retail uh, workers because I've been there. I've been the annoyed retail worker. Uh, is this chair not comfy enough? I'm not, I'm not sure, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because the desk is not ideal. But it's funny because I got a mesh chair. Because I, I hate being, like, hot in a chair. Like, I don't like being warm in a chair. You know, you, like, stand up and your legs stick to the chair. Like, le leather stuff. I don't usually like. But, um... And, just, like, when it's 30 degrees or whatever, it's like, uh Like, we have air conditioning. But I don't, I don't like cranking the air conditioning when I'm just in one little room. I'd rather just, you know... So I got a mesh chair. But then I realized I'm, like, putting pillows on it all the time, so I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. But I think I need to write down really specific stuff that I like and dislike in chairs. And bring a list with me and just try, like, I don't know. It's hard to find a chair for me in, like, 4'9 four, four or 4'11. Oh, yeah, that would be tough. I'm taller than you, but I still... I think part of the problem is a lot of people don't know how to sit properly like they don't know how to adjust a chair but you want to have like 90 degree angles so your forearm to your bicep should be like a 90 degree angle when you're on the armrest your knees should be like 90 degrees like your your you know your calves to your hammies or whatever should be 90 degree angle but a lot of the chairs don't go low enough 
even for me, and I'm I'm probably like a uh what am I five I'm probably like five nine. I might be a whole foot taller than you. I don't think a whole foot, but I'm <laughs> I'm a bit taller than you. I still have trouble finding chairs that are like short enough. So, but it's weird because my desk is too high, so then I want to put my chair too high. But then if my feet are dangling, then like my legs fall asleep. <laughs> so and then I so I have like a stool, but the stool is too high. So like I just <laughs> I'm just trying my best, you know? All this talk of furniture, oddly, is reminding me of a dream of getting a good laptop and a capture card. Oh, well, good for you and your dream. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I paused it here not because of the riveting chair conversation, um, but because we should take a break. I want to be really on top of the breaks. I got to make sure I'm stretching, like, extra, extra stretching. Because my neck was like totally crummy this morning. I couldn't even sit and play Pokemon Snap for four hours. That that was my plan this morning. I was streaming Pokemon Snap and I was like, I can't do this. And then this game with the keyboard and mouse is kind of tricky too. So I want to make sure I'm stretching it out enough. If your feet are dangling, you tend to swing them out. <laughs> I love swinging my feet. But when you're sitting at a desk for like an extended period, it's not really the best. <laughs> But maybe I'll start a channel in the Discord just specifically for, like, talking about chairs and furniture. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a break, you guys. I'm going to stand up and stretch and get some water and all that all that stuff. Try to I'm trying to fix my neck and not make it worse. Um, so we'll do that. Who wants to hear some of the new album? You guys aren't sick of it yet, right? Doggy May Dance 2. Let's hear some doggy songs. Which ones have we not heard in a while? Oh, here. This will be about five minutes. I just got two songs. It'll be about five minutes. You guys should probably stretch too, you know? Because maybe you wake up with a sore neck tomorrow and you're like, man, I should have stretched yesterday. Don't let that be you. Don't let this happen to you. Get some water. Uh, look at something that's not a screen. For crying out loud. You've probably been looking at screens all day too. Or not. I don't know. But your eyes will thank you anyways. Get some water or something. Stretch. And we'll meet back here in five minutos. Have a good break. Welcome in. Oh my gosh, I was muted because I pressed my break button and that mutes me and I forgot. But welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid, Goofs. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys just got here just in time for a chiptune break. <laughs> uh, if you haven't been here before, my name is Kemi. I'm playing Subnautica today. Playing some Subnautica. Uh, and we are going to the deep volcanoes under the ocean. And it's gonna it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool, but also probably scary. But exciting. So we were just taking a little quick five minute break here. Um, the other thing I do is I make chiptunes with my Game Boy program. So you know what? Grab some water, stretch, you know, relax. You've probably been sitting for a while. Well, Goofs, if you've been streaming, you've been probably sitting for a while and you know. So you guys should probably, you know, stretch, grab some water, that kind of thing. I'll play you guys some music. I'll go stretch and get some water too. And we'll, we'll be back in about five minutes, okay? Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Enjoy some chip tunes, and we'll be back in five.
Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you like those tunes. That's off my new my new album that just came out not last Friday, but the Friday before, right? Dang, time flies. Uh, Cause it came out on my puppy dog's birthday. Cause he turned ten, maybe. It's hard to say with rescues. But anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys like that. Uh, how was your stream, Goose? How was your stream? You were playing Among Us, I think. Is that right? That game looks crazy. We'll just uh, venture on down here. I'm feeling brave. Let's just let's just go. Oh my god. Yup. Yup. We're just. Oh my god. We can just stand in this, and it's K. This is K. Oh god. <laughs> this is where we are now. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Piggy, how's it going? Oh my god. Yup, look where we are. Isn't this great? Isn't that great? That's cool, right? Oops. Among Us and then Mario Kart. Ooh, Mario Kart. Nice. I mean, Among Us is nice too. Oh. Well. Where was the other thing that we were supposed to... Where is it? Nope. Where was the other thingy? Uh... No. What the heck? There was a... This is scary. This isn't even that deep. This is only 300 meters down. Holy butts. Is this really kosher? Which way do we go? This way? Oh boy. Oh, this looks like a- no, it's not a dead end. We can just go in here, and it's- it's okay. Yeah, we can just- we can just... Oh, wait, is that- is that a downstairs? Lower Norfair. Oh god, we're just... Well, here we go. Oh my god, we can actually come down here. Uh, why though? How are we not getting fried? Like, I know this thing has a thermal thingy, but sheesh. It is 90 degrees. 90 degrees! That's even hotter than it is outside today. Alright, well, we're walking on volcanoes. We're walking on sunshine, chat. Don't it feel good? Oh my goodness. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa. Oh. oh my god. <gasps> What's this? We need the Oh, it's just gold. Ah, it's just gold. Oh my god, okay. Oh, that didn't go anywhere. I thought it would go somewhere. Is this supposed to go somewhere? Had to remind yourself it was C and not F. Yeah, that's 90 degrees Celsius, friends. Celsius. That's the little numbers one. So 90 is a big deal. Wow. I like adventuring in this much better than in the Cyclops. Wait, did we... Is this like a special place? No, right? We could get here before, I think. Or is this a special little area that we only got to from going in the volcano spot? No. Almost boiling. Yeah, almost. You seen Daddy Daycare? Oh man. Ages ago. Ages ago. At least you won't be cold. Hey, Piggy, it's good to see you. I mean, it's, it's good to see all you guys. But it's been a minute since I've seen Piggy. So, you know. Uh, I'm trying to go in the lava place. <laughs> Definitely assumed you meant Fahrenheit. I was like, yeah, I guess it's hotter than that outside. <laughs> yeah, outside it's like 34 Celsius. And then in here it's like 90. We don't need gold that bad, right? We can... Well, I mean, we can let go of stuff, right? The drill arm is super cool. Okay, there's one. There's- oh wait, there's a bunch. 
I should probably grab the Magnus height. This mech suit, though, it's pretty great. It makes me want to watch Pacific Rim again. I love that movie. Pacific Rim is one of the greatest movies ever made. I won't be here super long to help my sister set up her new laptop. Oh, nice. Just got off work, been super busy and lazy and all the other things besides work. That's, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Uh, were you... Did you hear about my new job? I'm not sure if you were here when I was talking about that or not. <laughs> and I want to mess around with Mega Man Legends again. Do it. You were just in here. This is... What's that? What is that? What is that? I want it. This is a fish. I think it's just a dead fish. <laughs> I want to go down here. I thought there'd be like more stuff down here. And it's just like, no, it's just bright. It's just really bright. I can't believe there's no negative effects to being in that. You can just stand in it and it's all good. Like there's no... Whatever, I guess. You didn't? Let's mean working more on Twitch. Yeah, you can say that. I quit my job, Piggy. I can't remember if you, I'm not sure if you've been here since I announced it, but I quit my job to focus full time on creating stuff. Creating Twitch stuff and music stuff and all that stuff. What was that noise? Besides terrifying. That's so cool. Super happy for you. Thank you so much. I wasn't sure if you knew about that or not. It's exciting. It's it's kind of scary. It's exciting, like this game. It's scary but exciting. <laughs> so I'm streaming every day now. Oh, there's more volcano stuff over there. No, wait, that's where I came from. I am lost, chat. I expected to be able to, you know, do more from here. <laughs> Uh, that's really far away. Definitely trying to stop by more often, but I gotta go have a good stream. Hey, thanks so much, and it's good to see you again. I always appreciate it, you know, even if you just pop in for five minutes, you know. I really appreciate that. Um, have fun setting up the laptop. There's something nice about setting up new gadgets, you know, like a clean slate, right? Have fun with that. Uh, say hi to your sister, if that's not weird. It's kind of weird. But I'm kind of weird, so whatever. Anyways, have a great one. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Take care. I don't know where I'm going, chat. I don't know where I'm going. Let's go this way. This looks good. This looks good. This looks like downward. And we'll mine some of this stuff. How does this work? It says magnetite added. Does, do I get a whole bunch all at once? Like, I'm sure I got more than two from that. Whoops, I did not mean to... Didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's get out and check on the storage situation here. Okay, okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We can get the rest of this, I think. Thank you. I bet it would freak me out if I got in a car and it was like, Welcome aboard, Captain. I'd be I'd be a little that would be awesome, but I'd still be a little creeped out. What do you guys think of this place? Look how purple it is. I like how purple it is. Definitely like that part. I'm gonna sit back a bit. <laughs> Maybe if I back up it won't be as in my face. That would make sense, right? Alright, let's go down here. So there's gold, I think, and stuff, and... I wanna go to the volcano? Oh, it's probably down here. Oh, we need water. Our weak human body requires hydration. <sighs> hmm. Can't go down here. What the hey? Where am I supposed to go? This is magnetite. That's gold. That's what? More gold? Maybe this isn't the volcanic place. Oh no, I think I know where we have to go. 
I don't want to go there. <laughs> I don't want to go there, chat. <laughs> I think we have to go to the, like, near the blood place. Like, the blue area, like, where we went to before, where we put our danger, danger house. I have a feeling we need to go near there. And we can't pick this up. We can only drill. It's making all that noise. It's not the snakes, right? The snakes. Uh. Oh. Yeah, there's a snake. Let's just uh, let's just carry on here. Leave the snake alone. <laughs> So we need to... Hmm. Alright. I think we need to take the Cyclops out again. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything here, though. Man, it's nice to be down here with the prawn suit and not having to worry about getting back out after. That's a nice thing. Okay, so in here... Nothing. In here... Whoops. Uh, can you like drop down, please? Thank you. In here looks like nothing. I'm assuming we got whatever was in that locker. Oh, I don't want to be slipping around. Hello, snack. Look at their big crazy teeth. That's ridiculous. I think there was a hatch on this side, maybe too. Somewhere I could go in. So this is where they were going to live. I don't know why they went this far down, though. Like, they could have lived anywhere. Why would they go here? Why would you want to have a habitat right here? Okay, that's a wall. Oh, that's also a wall, I think. I thought I could swim in there. I guess not. I guess it is a wall. Moon pool fragment. I mean, I could scan that just to get more titanium. Oh, cave bush. We haven't scanned this before? Cool. Have not seen it before. Neato! Alright. Well, back in here. Back in here we go. Oh, there was an upstairs, too. I went in the upstairs, didn't I? Does anyone remember? Gosh, it's been a minute. Where's the hatch? That's got a bubble on it. Ah! Stupid jellyfish thing. Wait, what's going on? Oh, yeah, no, that was definitely the jellyfish. Oh, shoot! There's more stuff in there, guys! Oh, no. I have to climb up there? Oh, heck. Okay, where do I go in this thing? Oh, I don't want to go up there. Yeah. I think it's on that side. Oh, God. I don't want to climb up stuff, chat. No! Leave me alone. Stop it. I think I can swim in there. No, that looks... Whoa. Oh, it's you, you dumb. Okay, he's gone. He's not gone. I will drill you, you dumb fish. Where was the opening on this? Crap. Uh. Shoot, I'm glad we came back here, because there's more stuff. Uh, oh, there. Right. Alright, this is where we gotta go in. Let's eat some food first. Okay. Here goes, chat. Here goes. Oh god, I don't wanna hit these jellyfish! No. No. Diagnab it. Alright, we're up here now. Yay, give me that. Bart Torgal's log data. two. Okay, we were not up here before. I don't think there's anything. Go down this side though. Ah, get down there. Ah! 
Gosh. Okay. Nothing in there. I don't want to go in there, do I? Is this where I came in from? No, it's not. Oh, heck, there's more stuff. Is there more stuff? <gasps> so glad I came back here. Okay, cool. Great. Ah, stop. Can I get out here, please? Yes. Get around this thing. Oh my god, okay. Get me back in here. Sheesh. Ah, all right. We got more stuff. Good, 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 great. Okay, cool. I want to eat that, and I want to drink that. Okay! How am I even playing this game? <laughs> I'm scared of everything. How am I playing this? Okay. Purple luminescent species which grows well on hardy terrain away from sunlight. Cool. You stay over there. What's that thing? Is that another snake just broken? I think that's a broken snake. We're gonna have to listen to the Torgal stuff, but I wanna get back to base first. Okay, yeah, a lot of stuff down here is infected. So that's great. Apparently everything on the planet is infected. I guess we should head back to base and then take the Cyclops over to the blue glowy reef place. Because in there, there's other volcanoes, so that's probably where I'm supposed to go for reals. That's a chest I opened, right? Yeah. Man, this would make such an amazing multiplayer game. It would be so cool. It's already so cool. See, see this guy's got little green stuff on him? That's what I've got on me, too. So that's, uh, that's real good. Okay, I'm going. Sheesh. I didn't know that would... Uh. Uh. Oof. Wait, where am I going? Blood base. Okay, yeah, we'll go to blood base. I guess we did walk all the way from there. Oh. oh, I thought I was gonna sneeze, but I didn't sneeze. <sighs> okay. Just yawning, not sneezing. Okay, let's start by going back to base. Listening to these data things from Bart Torgal. The founder? No, the sun. The sun, right? Yeah, he's the sun. FE. FE304. Isn't FE iron? What's O? What's O4? Also, I thought. Uh, where's my heat thing? Thermal thing. Recharges power cells in hot areas. Yeah, so if I go in hot areas, it should recharge the cell. Isn't that cool? I don't like this drilling sound either. It's also spooky. Maybe I'm just having a spooky day. You guys have ever had a spooky day? You just get spooked by stuff? Alright. That's fine. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle here. Pfft. Fish just falling on me. Wait, is this where I went before? Is this something different? Is that where I went, guys? I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna check it out. Is this what lithium really looks like out in the wild? I wonder. There's a lot of noise happening. I'm just gonna assume it's all me and the volcano. Okay. Oh, I think we're full on stuff. Alright, let's go. I think this is it. Yeah, this is where I went before, right? Yeah, it is. It definitely is 100% where I went before. Not exciting. Got startled by your own shadow biking home one night. Oh yeah, that, that kind of thing happens to me. All the time. 
That's relatable. What is wrong with that snake? That broken snake. <laughs> he thinks he's hanging on to a mushroom, but he's not. Or else the mushroom didn't load. No, he's supposed to be hanging inside one of those. He's just, uh... He's a little bit broken. I don't know if I checked that. Oops. I must have checked in here, right? I must have. It's just infecty stuff. They're very loud, these snakes. Very loud. Nah. Whoa, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back. Uh, anything in there I need? I don't think so. Oh shoot, the whole thing is open. I did not realize that. All right. Uh, which way is out? That way? Probably that way, right? Probably that way. Probably this way. Oh, that way. Yep, that way. That way would be out. We got a super jump pack now. We can just superman it all the way out of here. At first we had, uh... At first we had, like, Spider-Man stuff. And now we have the Superman jump. We can get out of here. Ah, uh, go, go, go. Okay, so this is not where we were trying to get to. Um, alright. We Go into our base. Over there? Yeah, over there. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. Ugh. Excuse me. Ugh. Let me blow my nose real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't want to be sniffling in your ears for like ever, so. That's main base. There's blood base. This thing is a lot easier to steer now. Or, you know. Whoops, here we go. Just have to make it without getting attacked by Ghost Leviathan. We're just spider man in a room. We should go check out that life pod, right? I think that's what we want to do. Bonk. What's that? Copper? Probably copper. This thing is so strange to drive. Whee! That was cool. I think we have to go back to the scary place. So unfortunately that means we need to get in this thing again. Open sesame! Uh, god, okay. Bonk. Oops. Although maybe we could just know. Like maybe we can just go in the prawn suit. Seems like a bad idea. All systems online. Okay, cool. Close that for now. <clears throat> we got a lot of stuff in here, so that's good. Wow, so much stuff. Neat. Okay, so.
fit some of that in there. Oh wait, and this. Oh, that's not a really good one, is it? And this one is everything we need to make a base. And some extra stuff. I'm going to save because we got to save a lot since we're in here and stuff is mostly good. Uh, okay. The food box. Oh good, we have lots of food. Oh yeah, all the storage is downstairs. Alright. Every time I'm just like praying I don't end up outside this ship. Oh, that one's full. Let's just fill it with... Actually, I should bring all this stuff with me. We're at the base. Put titanium in there, but, you know. Alright. We're home. We can be putting our stuff away. Welcome aboard, and these should be ready. Look at all this stuff we got. Nice. Okay, we've got tons of food. Plenty of water. We got lots of health packs. We've got onboard health pack making machine. I'm totally like, if we get attacked, if, if we get attacked and it ends poorly, I'm just, I'm, I'm just reloading. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna rebuild stuff. I'm past that. I'm just backing up my save. And I'm saving constantly, you know, and all right. I don't want to go back there, but I will because I have to. Yay. <laughs> Why do I still have magnetite on me? I thought I put it away. All right, whatever. Uh. Right, power cells. There. Now that's just about full. Even this thing, like, rippling out of the corner of my eye freaks me out a little. Like, everything in this game scares me. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically, everything in this game scares me. Isn't that great? Including these decoys, which... It better not place me outside. All right, decoy safely loaded. <sighs> don't like this thing, Sam, I am. I don't like it. Engine. And these oh. lights do not help, by the way. I hit slow. Hey, we were gonna listen Engine. to that stuff, right? We're gonna listen to stuff. Let's listen to some stuff before we go. Let me save first because we're not falling out of anything. Okay, okay, we just saved. We're good. <sighs> Let's listen to these. Degasi or Bart Torgal's log one. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window, and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. <laughs> Learned that the hard way. Mm. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. 
It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. <laughs> Co-evolution. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. <laughs> she is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Hey, that's what I ended up doing. That's cool. I like Bart. I hope he's still around somewhere. That would be really neat is if I could find him, but I, I have a bad feeling, you know? I don't, I don't think that Bart is around anymore. But he's pretty cool. Hey, 100, how are you doing today? Engine We're gonna find a volcano, because we found a volcano. And it was the wrong one, so. Alright, here we go again. Uh, great. You know what, let's... We gotta head there, right? We gotta find the life pod. That's the next step. It is so bloody hard to see. Is it getting- is it getting nighttime? I thought it was getting daytime. How long were we listening to those things? Ay, sheesh. Alright, alright. You guys, tell- tell me about your days or something while- while I try not to bump into stuff. This is the worst part of the game. Driving this heckin' thing. And going out into the dark. Oh, I think the sun is coming up. It's all purple here, I don't know why. Oh my goodness. Alright, what can we talk about? I started listening to AFI again. Who I used to listen to a whole lot. And it's funny, because I haven't listened to them in like... 10 or 15 years, maybe. Like, I wasn't listening to any of their new stuff. I was just listening to like... their older stuff. And their style has changed quite a lot. Oh yeah, this area. Okay, this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be cool. I'm just gonna tell myself that this is gonna be cool until I'm not scared of it. That works, right? <sighs> Busy day trying to run errands. Only semi-successful. Also, you got some errands run, right? Ooh, what kind of egg is that? Is that an egg? What is that? Like, that's or Wait, what is that? Oops. No, oh, that's ore. Okay. Oh! It's bright now. Okay. We gotta get there. Sunk 500 meters before she abandoned it. I don't know what's the best camera 
I feel like this one is the best for seeing like how wide the ship is. Is the the bottom of it is very narrow. So for the most part, I think like if you can Oh my god. Okay. Um if you use the this view when you're going between stuff, you're good. But you need to look down when you're going down. Alright, so you said semi-successful errands. Let's talk about errands. <laughs> so you got some errands done, but not all. Oh, is that where we're going? Are we going in there? But that's good. Semi-successful is better than unsuccessful. A lot better, in fact, right? Do we take the prawn suit down? Down here? I wish I could strafe in this thing. I don't think we're going down there in this. We have to go down there. Oh no, that's the life pod! It's right there! Well dang! Well dang! It's right there, chat. It's. I thought it was like further away. That's not too bad. We can go down there. Whew. Some places you thought had stuff didn't. A bit frustrating. Yeah. No, it it is frustrating when places don't have stuff that they should. Sunk 500 meters. And then she abandoned it. Okay, this is right here. I thought it was, like, way deeper. Because I thought it's some... Wait, I got this. What? I found this already? What the hey? I thought it sunk 500 meters, and then she hopped out, and then it, like, sunk more. Okay, so we've been in here, right? Wait, what did I find down here, then? What did I... That's it then, okay. I did not... I did not realize that I had been here, what the hey? Uh... Yeah, this is it. We had been here. Life pod 2. Alright, that's disappointing. Oh god, this thing is so big and intimidating. Welcome up. I wonder with like All doing errands and stuff, sometimes it's worth calling ahead to make sure places have stuff, especially if you're trying not to go anywhere that you don't have to. Okay, wait, did we, what did we recover from Life Pod 2? Oh yeah, this, the sandwiches. Oh, we have to go back to the Aurora too. The Aurora will have blueprints. You know what, there's gonna be stuff in the volcano that I need, I'm sure there is. Why is stuff shaking? Don't be shaking when I'm in here. Freaks me out. Life Pod 2. Chief Technical Officer, you. Oh yeah. Use your main just send distress, he'll build whatever gear we can and find a way to the surface. Wait, so what if we go to the surface from here? Do you think they found something? Engine powering up. Maybe. I don't know if I ever checked the surface here. Maybe they found something. Maybe they left something for me to find. I hope they made it to the surface. <sighs> it's so clear. I don't like it. We're gonna look at it down here. I mean, that's pretty clear too, actually. I don't- well, it's not clear. It's like... murky. Ugh. Slow progress today, but progress none the same- none the- nonetheless. All the same. All the less, none the same.
Why is it just as scary going up as going down? This game is ridiculous. It's scary in so many ways. <laughs> Alright, we're breaking surface. And it made no sound. That's really weird. Oh, there's the Aurora. Okay. There's, like, nothing here. And the rendezvous point is over there. I want to, like... Man, that's kind of disappointing. I wanted to see if I could find something, but there's just... It gets too clear, and I don't like that. So I guess we'll just go to Danger House, or towards Danger House, rather. Hmm. We want to go to to Danger House. That's where we want to go. Because there's, uh, I think there's volcanic stuff there. So this is, like, way behind the ship, right? That camera's back there. Oh, wait. That's where we gotta go. The volcano place is gonna be so cool. It's gonna be really cool. That's what I'm telling myself. Tell myself it's gonna be awesome. And it is, right? It's an underwater volcano. It's gonna be so cool. We can actually go inside an underwater volcano. You know? It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great, probably. Wait, I think we wanna go to the blue glowy place. Yeah, we do. Okay. Last time I went for errands, I went to, um... Hey, Gamey, welcome to the chat. That's not a... <laughs> That's not a very encouraging thing to say. <laughs> I know I'm gonna die down there, but I'm trying to- I'm trying to encourage myself here. It'll be great, and then we'll die, but it'll be great. Anyways. Uh, hope you're having a good day. Um, last time I was doing errands, they had Hot Wheels ca cars for like a dollar. I was like, what? A dollar? I've seen like, Hot Wheels cars have gotten like more expensive. I've seen them for like three or four dollars. Of course it's good down there. That's the spirit. It's amazing. It's gonna be so much fun. And hey, you can die down there and still have fun. That's what video games are for. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw um, like I haven't collected like anything that came in a set for a while so uh, but they had Hot Wheels art cars and they've got like crazy colors and designs and they, they look very 80s they got like the bright neon colors and like the dots and triangles and you know 80s looking stuff I think that was 80s I don't know I wasn't around <laughs> But they look really cool, and I think the one I got is number three of ten, so I was like, man, I want to look around the other nine. That would be neat. Because I collect, like, Pokemon cards and stuff. But I don't tend to collect sets. I was working on a Pokemon Sword and Shield set. And I got, uh, oh man, I pulled the rarest card in the set in the first pack. So, like, once in a while, my partner and I will splurge on a booster box of, like, Pokemon or Magic or whatever. We'll just splurge. Why is this all the way over here? Oh, yeah, it is over here, isn't it? Okay. And we'll just splurge. Not so much recently, but, like, last year, I think for Christmas, we got a booster box of the Sword and Shield pack. And we split it. 
And the very first pack I opened, it had, it was like a numbered card. It was like 212 out of 200 or something. It was the Zacyan with like the gold, uh, I don't know what it's called, like the gold, it's, it was like gold leaf almost. So cool. It had like the textured gold uh, line art. So nice. I'm like, man. So that was super lucky. I love opening packs of Pokemon cards. Oh, we're going this way. Yep, this is where it is. This is where we're going. Oh boy. I don't want to hit anything. Oh god. This does not look like a fun time, right? But I mean, we've been here before. I shouldn't be scared of it, but I am. Because this game is scary. Everything in this game is scary. Uh, I should go down there. Well, gotta find the glowy blue ball reef, whatever it's called. It's 2 a.m. here. Guess I'm going back to the sleep. Lol, don't get eaten. <gasps> hey, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the uh, well wishes. <laughs> uh, thanks for saying hey. I appreciate it. You have a good sleep. Have a good sleep. Oh god. Please seek the logical bio. Oh. Matches seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating oh. terror in humans. Seven of the nine. Uh. What are the nine and what are the seven? It's dark. It's deep under. That's not exactly confidence inspiring. God, the ambient! Ambient music! It's nighttime and I'm scared. What's well, gonna be morning? Wait, have I not been here? Chad, is this a new. the new place? What's that over there? Do you see it right dead center behind the school of fish? There's something lit up. Daddy, damn it, phone! <laughs> my phone just went, and I'm like, yeah, jumping out of my skin. Seven of the nine conditions for stimulating terror in humans. That's a uh, good. I'm a little terrified. Just look at the sea floor. It's probably fine. I just want to waste time till morning. What is that? What is that light, chat? God, do we want to go there? This is not kosher. Is that just a... Is it just a box? This is not fun. At least Seth went home. Oh yeah. Why are there boxes here? Oh, they just sunk. Have we not been here before? Because I totally I thought I had, and then she was like, this is a scary place. I'm like, I know, but I thought it was a scary place I'd been to. Oh, man. Oh, God, there's a glowy thing. And that... Okay. Okay. We're saving here, because I'm masochistic, apparently. Okay, we're still in the ship, thank heckin' goodness. Oh, no. 
See, to Danger House is like 500 meters down. We're only 179 down. Why is it so scary? Why is it so pitch black? It's so dark. It's so dark, chat. That doesn't even help. I bury all the lights on. Uh, chat. All right. Oh, I ate a fish and I forgot I had these. Dag nabbit. I wish I knew what caused the glitch so that I could avoid doing that. All right. Well, and what day is it? Day 207? Didn't I say we only hit till 209 and then, you know, then the, then the stuff hits the thing, you know? We're going. Oh my god. What's the point of taking this out if it doesn't stay out? I got this already! I've been here! Game, why are you freaking me out about places I've already been? Maybe I approached it from the wrong angle. What the heck? Can you go down? No! Of course you can go down there, though. Right? Of course you can. Ah, chat. What am I doing? What am I doing, chat? Why am I doing this? Okay. Alright, this is okay. This is okay. Look, we got some pretty glowy stuff right here. Isn't this nice? I've seen this before. I've been down here. Okay, let's go back up. That was nice. Now let's go back up. Okay, this thing. Whatever. It's a it's a video game. It's programmed. And uh, nothing is real. And I've been in here, no? I've been in here, right? Thank goodness. I've been in here, right? I think. I'm sure I've been in here. Oh, no. Oh, no, chat. Wait, this should go on four and this should go on three. Oh, no, chat. It's very bright, isn't it? Oh, no, chat. I'm turning the sound down. <laughs> Somebody tell a joke or something, okay? Where, where's Herschel and his, his goofy jokes? <laughs> Herschel, I need a punny joke. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> uh... Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, we got a thing. That's good. Locker's empty. Modification station for- Are you kidding me? I don't need that. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here before we heckin' drown. Oh, where's the door? Mmm. Staying calm. Where's the. There's the door. Let's get back in here. Well, Don't boo me. <laughs> All systems on. I know, I know. Okay. I'm not scared. You're scared. Aren't you scared, chat? Seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating Terran humans. I mean, it's dark and it's deep underwater. That's all I got. Okay, what do we download? Um. Wait, didn't we just- what did we just get? Did anybody- was anybody paying attention? Because we just picked something up. Why is this shaking? It, cre it freaks me out. <laughs> Alright. ELT. <sighs> uh... huh. Congratulations, the hard part is over. Yeah, right.
This is a cute little life pod, isn't it? Okay. Stop hicking shaking! Jeez. Oh, it's been shaking the whole time. Fine, I don't want to read my stuff anyways. Oh, it's daytime. Nice. I guess we could go around in the prawn suit. Would that be better? Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, chat. As long as we're not being attacked, I guess life is good, right? Oh, and we have a shield that I forgot about. It would be nice if there was a hotkey for that instead of having to click on stuff. Okay. This is the right way. So this isn't even that scary when it's not, you know, when it's daytime. <gasps> oh, what's down there? Oh, there's a lot of stuff down there. There's a lot of stuff down there. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. Hey, look, a chair. Oh, whoops. I'm trying to find somewhere to park this thing. I guess we can just go down a little. Okay, we gotta be brave, right? We gotta be brave. I'm not good at being brave, but I'll do my best. This is kind of pretty, actually. Oh. This thing is, like, impossible to drive. Engine powering down. Okay. Did I take the prawn suit or just swim around? For now, I think I'm just gonna swim around. <sighs> Alright. I need this. What is this? Time capsule! Sweet! Reef back taxi? Riding your pack all the way to the Aurora. Hey, you can ride it! I didn't know that. That's cute. And it came with a gold thing and a nutrient block. Nice. And a health pack. Reef back taxi. That's cool. That confirms that you can ride on them without getting hurt. I wasn't so sure. That's cute. Nothing to scan here. Oh, that looks uh, a little fishy. Alright, let's, let's go... Let's move away from being scared of everything. And let's move back into being interested in everything. Because there's so much interesting stuff. Hopefully that's still here when we get back. Uh, but if not, I can resave. Or reload my save. Oof. Okay. What do we have down here? Oh. This is neat. This is a lot better during the day. A lot better. Yeah, Ruby. Thank you. See this ventilation thing. This is this is not. I can scan this? There's another one I could have scanned. Alien vent. That is so weird. Why would they have a vent here? Oh, and we got one of these guys. I don't know. I feel like eating the enzyme guys might be a good idea. See, these have enzymes in them, so they're infected like me. Uh, but they also have an enzyme that's kind of holding the infection at bay, which I think is really interesting. What is this? Egg? Oh, it's lithium. Just sitting there. What's all this lithium just sitting here? Crazy. What is this? Egg? Creature egg? I don't know what kind of creature this is. Oh, it's actually quite nice over here. Oh, another time capsule?! Holy smokes! Two, like, back to back. That's amazing. 
All right. Okay. Uh. Oh man. I wish I had my sea moth over here. Oh dang. All right. We're going back because we want to not drown. Not drowning is on the agenda for today, chat. Not drowning. That's the goal. That is the immediate goal for right now. Just do not drown. Hey, it looks like we did it. Okay, cool. Okay, that was successful. Did not drown, so that's always good. Oh, uh, we got another time capsule that did not have items in it, but it had... Oh, a cuttlefish. Oh! Take care of him, his name is Baroque. All the best, hope this helps. Huh. Thanks, Victor. But that's not... Take care of him. Wait, if you release a thing somewhere, can other people find it? I didn't think so. Those would probably be cuttlefish all over the place. Where is that? Huh. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Warm, deoxygenated water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Assessment. Further research required. I mean, there's another one I can scan closer to our base. Hmm. Oh, we need water. Ah, uh, no, I'm getting plants. Plants! That's what the plants are for. Okay. I'm starting to not like the plants either. Oh my gosh. Anything that moves is like... Freaks me out and makes me think that I'm like clipping out of here or something. I wish there was a way to get the glitches out of my game because they're scaring me. Honestly scaring me. Uh, brain, let's see, put that in there. And that. Duh, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. It freaks me out. <laughs> it freaks me out so bad, Chad. Okay. Stop slipping! Oh my god, my feet are just slipping around all over the place. Okay, see this- this doesn't even look that scary right here. <sighs> this game is hard to play. This is a hard to play game. Why is the ship moving? I think something crashed into me. Probably. Okay. We... Don't have any indicator of where we're supposed to go next. Just somewhere in the volcano, I guess. We just have to find a volcano. You got this. Thank you, 100. Thank you. Let's put some shades on the eel. Um, where are they? There. Thanks for that. Man, this, ga <laughs> this game, like, it's taking years off my life, I'm sure. Okay, we've seen all this stuff, right? We've seen that. Seen that we've investigated all this stuff, so there's nothing in here telling me where to go next. Um, I know there's some volcanics that we just got to go deeper down, right? And I don't know if I should just go in the prawn suit and just go around for a bit. I wonder. Okay, so the engine is off, right? Because it's not spinning, not spinning back here. No, it's not spinning. Power is good. Uh, ish. Health is good. It's not the years in your life, it's life in your years. Uh, thanks, but I would like to have, you know, uh, maximum life years. Oh wait, let's see what's in... Why is health at 94? Whatever, I can fix that. What's in the storage? I mean, that's all good stuff. Food, water, health. See, here's me being paranoid again, but I'm gonna 
smack another tree and eat that so that okay we're gonna go in the prawn suit did we have our second break yet i don't think so I ah oh god just launched all the way down here okay all right cool cool great i don't know if this is the right direction Oh, let me get out and repair this guy. Boop. Okay. I mean, this is pretty, right? This is pretty. Where the heck am I going? Not this way. Okay, fine. We'll go the other way then. That makes it somehow slightly less scary, I guess. That crazy heckin' vent down here, like, I don't... Further research required, but like... I don't know. Can't really look into it. Okay, we're going this way. You know what, everything is dark and scary down here. So, we'll just get used to it, I guess. Do we need to scan this? This looks like a new thing. I can't scan this? No. What day is it? Our last thing was on two day 207. I think 209 was gonna be two weeks since we got infected. That's when we're supposed to be toast, but I don't- I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. Wouldn't it suck if I just died? <laughs> I've saved my last few save files just in case. <sighs> oh boy, chat. Are we, uh... We doing this? Going down here in this thing? I guess we are. Oh my god. Let's go. It's not the dark and you're scary, it's the scary and the dark. The scary and the dark is what I'm afraid of. But I wonder... Uh, I feel like I should bring the Cyclops over here, because I had it here before. <sighs> What's the worst that happens, right? Everything. Okay, we're saving and we're going. YOLO! Ah! Okay, okay. We're YOLOing. Please leave me alone, sir. I don't know if my drill can be used as an attack thing. I hope so. Leroy Jenkins! Yeah, dude. Oh. I shouldn't tell you this, but I started playing WoW again. <laughs> Somebody bought me a subscription, though, so it would be rude not to, you know? It'd be rude not to. Oh my god. Picking caves. Can I... Oh good, I can kill stuff with this. Okay. Just testing the... Testing the waters, don't you know? Yeah, come at me! Yeah, take that. Darn right. Get away from me. You want some of this? Huh? You want some too? You want some? Yeah, get out of here. Just gotta be overly cocky. That's probably- ooh, that looks cool. Being overly cocky is probably the best approach. Oh, we're not going down there. No, 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 go backwards. <laughs> okay. Uh, this way looks cool. Had a roommate who played WoW because someone covered a subscription. I mean, that's the best way to play WoW, right? If someone else pays for it? Yeah, man. I, I really like World of Warcraft. I started- I bought a one-month subscription because all, all my buddies- like, all my friends were playing it, you know? All my friends were playing it, and I was like, I want to be able to play with my friends. 
And that's, you know, you go where your friends are, right? Especially if you have an Xbox. If you're not the friend with the Xbox, you're, you only have an Xbox because your friends will play it. And you're like, well, I want to play my friends and they have an Xbox, so <laughs> I'm just teasing. Oh gosh. Yup, Leroy Jenkins. Oh boy. But um, yeah, I bought like a one month thing and I was like, man, this is awesome. And then I decided I was quitting my job and I was like, I can't, <laughs> I cannot like in good conscience. Not even in good conscience. I was just like, it's just straight up irresponsible to keep paying for a WoW subscription. Is that supposed to be floating there? Heck, let's just go. I don't, I don't care. Just Leroy Jenkins. I don't know why that's floating. Look how pretty this is, though. Like, this is pretty pretty. Pretty scary. Pretty pretty. Uh, that is an ampial. He's okay. He might try to ruin my suit. The heck is that? I guess we gotta check it out. We're checking out everything, chat. We're just checking stuff out. That's all we're doing, right? We're just checking it out. The best food is free food, right? Oh, that's some wreckage. Oh! Oh, dang! Uh, I'd feel better if you were a little- a little bit more distanced from me there, sir. That's really cool, though. Look at him go- okay. Anyway, uh... Hey, this looks like... Oh, nuclear reactor. Dang it, I need to- I wish I had a scanning arm on this thing. Alright, let's get out. We're only 600 meters down. It's all good. It's fine. Check it out. Hey, cardboard moon. There. We got that. How are you? Good to see you again. How's it going? <gasps> Whoa, we're here. Great. Oh, man. Heck, this place is just cool. I can't even... I mean, I can be scared, but I'm gonna try to just be more amazed. Cause holy heck- Ah! There's one of those. <gasps> Whoa. Danger House is over there. Cool, we're almost home. Kind of. We should go to Danger House, right? We should say hey. Get some supplies, perhaps. Bring some stuff. Dive into the Danger House- Ah! Don't. Thank you. Oh wait, we're supposed to take a break. I'm really bad at taking breaks. Don't. Don't. Dude, how cool is the ampule though? Don't. Don't. I'm sorry, I don't want to hurt you, but, you know, leave me alone, please. Wait, he's not even, like, attacking me. He's just... That's cool. Alright, that's Danger House. Or no, that's Danger House. And this is cool stuff we gotta check out. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> uh, excuse me. I was gonna say Gesundheit, and then I was like, no, it's not that one. And then I was gonna say Bless You, and I was like, no, that's what other people say. I think I can walk in this. Please? Can I walk in this now? <gasps> Whoa, we got a cool little tunnel. We got our own tunnel! <coughs> What the heck? Oh, it's just you. <gasps> We're getting warped. Ah! Let me back in there! <laughs> okay, break time. <laughs> he doesn't warp the whole thing, he warps me out of it. Oh my god. That's, oh my god. Sheesh. I last don't have many people I can call for. I'm not due to bad blood or malice, mind you. No, let's go. Oh, you're talking about friends. Yeah, I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have a lot of friends, but I like that. I have a lot of acquaintances. A lot of people I'm friendly with, but like close friends, I've got like two in town and a couple out of town. And that's, you know, tight circle, you know, it's good. So when all two of your friends are playing, wow, what do you do? <laughs> Good to be here. I haven't seen you play this yet. Oh, you haven't! Oh, I love this game. But it's, I'm at the point where I'm scared of everything. <sighs> Take a break. Yes, we're taking a break. That's why it's paused. I'm gonna save. Then we're gonna pause again. Wait, what's up there? What is this? Blood base. We're actually not going this way. I wanna just go through this thing. Wee! Because I can. Wee! 
Whoa. Whoa! Oh yeah, that's where Danger House is. And that is a crab squid. And there's stuff- oh, that's another crab squid. Uh oh. They're everywhere! They're everywhere, chat. Go away! Thank you. Oh, see? I didn't even ask nicely. Go away, please. There, he just goes into the wall. Because everything down here can just go through walls and whatever. Stretch and hydrate. I will I will do that. I will do that on our break. That was terrifying. The game is terrifying, but it's satisfying. Like, this... the My favorite way to describe this game, or one of my favorite ways to describe it, is it's the only game so far that I've been, like, absolutely scared of, but I love it. Like, I don't mind being scared in this game. Although it's getting worse. <laughs> I'm So at this point, I'm just hoping I can get through it. So I am kind of on my way to trying to finish it. Because I, I kind of don't want to be playing it anymore. Because <laughs> it's like, it's stressful. But it's nice. It's a nice game. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if there's an art book for it, I need to get it. But like, it's crazy. This is your first sight of Subnautica. Oh, it's so, it's so good. You should go and watch, uh, watch some old episodes if you want. If you want to. But, um... I'm making a spook compilation because there's so many times where I'm like, oh my god, what was that? Ah, like, it's scary. Because it's scary being underwater, first of all. It's like, it's a survival game. So you've got your health and your food and your hydration. But on top of that, you've got your oxygen. So there's always the threat of drowning. And the place I have to go is like 1,400 meters. It's like a kilometer and a half below sea level. That's not scary. That's, that's all fine, right? All good. Yeesh. Anyways. Anyways. Um, also, thanks for the bless. I'm not sure if I said that. But thank you, 100. And thank you for redeeming Hydrate and Stretch. I'll do that. We'll take a break. I need to, like... Uh, I don't think this is the word, but, like, recollect myself here. And uh, we'll, we'll be back. <laughs> In the meantime, I'll have a little break. And you listen to some more Doggy May Dance. More Doggy May Dance. Let's do, what, what song is here? Here, we'll do, uh, I'm trying to see if I have something that's like about six minutes. Oh, here, this works, this works. We'll just continue in the song here. So five to seven minutes, you guys, five to seven minutes. Have a good break, stretch, grab some water, and then we'll be back with more uh, Subnautica. This should be, uh, hopefully, like where I think I'm going or where I'm trying to get to should be some of the coolest stuff and probably kind of scary, but some of the coolest stuff so far. There should be an underwater volcanic area somewhere. We have to go heckin' deep down. So, anyways, uh, we'll take a break. Everybody stretch and hydrate. Yes, everybody stretch and hydrate. Look at something that's not a screen for a couple seconds. It'll it'll help. Grab some popcorn if you want. I don't whatever. Uh, but we'll be back in a few minutes. Have a good break.
sampling the LSDJ animal sounds kit. Yeah. <sighs> All right. We're back. We're back. We're being brave, chat. Did you guys stretch and everything? Oh, I forgot to hydrate. I stretched. I got to hydrate. Ah, there we go. Yeah, Ridley always sneaking a knot eel in with the eels. All right, we're going. We're being brave. We're going wherever the heck we want. Danger house is over there. There was somewhere else we could go. That was deeper down, I think. What the hey are these? Oh, I haven't been down here. What the hey? Ah! <laughs> uh. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Get out of here! Get away from me! No! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's a little scream and then a big scream. <laughs> Those guys are scary. Oh my god. 
They have scary faces. They're like sorta cute. <laughs> so I'm just gonna scan this thing. I heard the noise. It's like, whatever. It's probably just a crab squid or something. I turn around. It's like, crab squid! Sheesh. What were these called? Brine lilies? That's crazy. Looked like mother brain head crabs had a baby. Something like that. It's pretty... They're pretty scary looking. But they're cool. They're they're really cool. I like them, but they're scary. You know. So we have to find some kind of volcanic place. Man, that was... Well fought. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you jerk. You stay... You stay the heck over there, sir. Oh, boy. Wait, there's nothing behind this, eh? There's no cave we can go into. Oh, it's just a wall and I just jumped down here. I thought maybe we could go in there. That would be cool. Oh man, did I miss this? The what? Solution D tunes? What? What? Also, hi, Miggy. <laughs> also, what? We're going to. Uh... Oh, it's just music being scary. Whee! This is actually awesome. This place is awesome and it's nice and bright, so it's not too scary. I haven't. I haven't seen these plants before, though. Um, but the guy, yeah, the guy that attacked me, we actually have a pet. Don't even. With the sounds. That's what he looks like. They make... What? Get... Oh, who did, what? Oh! Yeah, I don't know why it says swim to surface. Like, that's not happening. Uh, the crab squids actually are scary because I forgot about this, but they mess up electronics. Electrical stuff, they they mess it up, so isn't that fun? I think we have to go down there. Whoops. Swim to surface. I don't know why it says that. Anyways! <sighs> the solid tunes. Oh yeah, I think you, you missed a couple tunes. Also, to answer your question, Glass, uh, that, those three songs that we just heard were Get It, Nose to Nose, and That a Cat? Uh, nose to Nose was the kind of calm, chill middle one, which is about being nose to nose with my puppy dog. You like automated quests throughout the game? Yeah, sort of. So, um, you'll get like... Why is it getting creepy? Can we need to stay away from those things? They're bad news. They're bad news bears. Uh, but you get like radio broadcasts and stuff from crews that, uh, from members of your ship who like crashed and died or whatever happened. So it's it's a really interesting way to do the story. Sound a bit like a lullaby. There's a few songs that are kind of lullaby-y. How you doing? Must be close to the end by now. Welcome hey Chris, I, um, I sure hope so. <laughs> I'm doing alright, I'm doing alright. I'm pretty freaked out by this game though at this point. Like, every new thing is scary. And we have to go, like, a kilometer underwater, which is deeper than this thing can even go, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work. But, um, there's a lot of bad stuff happening. <laughs> My character is infected with this disease that apparently kills things after two weeks, and I've had it for about 12 days, so I guess we'll see what happens with that. Um... They... I did find a radio broadcast, or somebody sent me a, a radio broadcast from the ship who said that they were sending... Uh, they were sending a rescue ship, but the last rescue ship that came for me got shot out of the sky. So they said, we have to meet you halfway. Like, you have to... <laughs> Two days left to live, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I hope it'll be okay. I don't think there's a way to check what day it is. The only thing I've found is I get messages. So 195 or 196. Uh, let's see. Um, data pertaining to the bacteria using download caution detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. It's gen it's altering my genetic code. Which sounds like a very scary thing. Bucket list time, yeah. So I figure, what do we got to lose, right? Um, so we've got 
The bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system, so that that's good. Medical report recorded a data bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. And then we got an alien thing being like, what are you? Just like appeared in front of my face. That was kind of creepy. And then we got this radio signal saying that they're sending us blueprints to make a spaceship to get off this planet. And we have to meet them halfway. So I'm trying... Oh, that looks like where we need to go, perhaps. Is that, is that where it was? That's where it was. Dagnabbit. I don't know where I'm trying to get to. If anyone has played this and you know where the volcanic area is, I'm a little stuck right now. <laughs> so... Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I figure if we were advised on day 190... 195, I think, I found something that was like, the, the, the virus usually kills things in about two weeks. And I thought, oh, well, that's... That's nice to know. Um, you know, we'll go to our base. We'll go to our base. Because our base... I don't know, our base is cool, I guess. It's neat. And there's extra power cells there in case we need them. And all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. But we're just, uh, so we can, we've got two things to do right now. We've got, uh, the volcanic area, if we can find it. Apparently, there's something down there that can maybe help with the infection. So we're basically looking for the vaccine down there. Uh, if we don't die of the bacterium first. The other thing is, if we go back to the Aurora, which is our ship that crash-landed on this planet in the first place, that's where they sent the blueprints to, so we have to get into the captain's quarters in there. And then we can figure out how to make our own ship. Also, look at these ribs. Isn't, isn't this nifty? There's a ghost leviathan around here somewhere. Unless he just is hanging around in the newbie area where he's not supposed to be. Have I scanned all this? I'm sure I have, right? Hey. What are these little fish? Jeez. Oh, it's those guys. They make noise. So this is hot. Is this gonna charge the... 87. There are a lot of noises happening down here. Alright, well let's just go home. Which way is home again? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll just go this way for a sec. There's a lot of ribs here. Just checked out Doggy Me Dance 2 on Bandcamp. I love everything on that page. Awesome work. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> That's really awesome of you to say. I really appreciate that. I don't know if this is going to be something I do every two years. Oh, there's the skull. There's a skull right there. There's a giant... Uh, sea dragon, maybe? Oh, there's the, there's the leviathan. There he is. See that guy? The big boy over there. Yeah, we're gonna steer clear of him. Uh, where's our house? There it is. There we go. Uh, but thank you so much for saying that. That's really nice of you. Because two years ago, I made Doggy May Dance, and I released it... Actually, it was the day after my dog's birthday. This year, I made sure to release it on his birthday. Oh, hey, we can go under here. Ooh, I want that. I can't really pick it up though. Thing of it. Oh wait. Oh, it's a waterfall. Cool. Let's go in the waterfall. We. I thought it was a secret underwater thing that I, you know, wouldn't be able to get to otherwise. Man, normally I could pick this stuff up. <laughs> no, can just punch it. All right. It's all under the water here. I can't. So this stuff poisons me if I go in it normally. But I can walk in it in this mech suit, which is great. But look at all that. Oh my god. I wonder if it's worth it. Probably not, right? Oh, dang. Is that titanium? We should get some titanium. Keep running out of titanium. <sighs> Somehow this place is less scary. I was way more scared at 179 meters down than I am at 800 meters down. Just bought the whole discography. She did. She really did. And I appreciate that. <laughs> Oops. I'm probably gonna be having another sale at the beginning of September. 
because I think we're having another band camp Friday. But even if we're not, I feel like it's nice to have a sale every month anyways. The thing with uh, band camp is by default, they put a limit on how much you can listen to stuff on the website before it starts asking you for money. <laughs> it's a really cute message. It says, it's time to open thy heart slash wallet. And I just think it's so funny. And it's a nice way of asking for money, but basically it's like, oh, you've been listening to this person's music for a while. Uh, did you feel like, you know, did you feel like maybe buying it? But I took the limit off on mine, so you can listen to everything on my Bandcamp as much as you want, and it won't ask you for money. Um, you only really need to buy it if you want to download it. Otherwise, you can just listen to it on the page whenever you want. And all my stuff is on there. Whee! Wow, there's a there's the sea dragon uh, body or remains or whatever. And here's our base, our little macaroni base. I wonder if I can if Sadie can charge it in like hot spaces, right? Let me see if I like go on top of one of these volcano things. See where it's like 80 degrees or whatever. Uh, let's see if I can stand on this. It's 60. 60 only. Charge? No, it's 84. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Whatever, man. We'll just go charge in the moon pool. We'll put some stuff away. No worries, you bought it anyway. Oh my gosh, you did! <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Jeez, I appreciate that. That me it means a lot to me, you guys. When you buy my stuff. Because you don't have to. So it just it means that much more when you do. Ah! Also, I don't know if you stream moon, but uh oh. Oh, we fell very far. But that's okay. It's not that far. Just a little bit far. Um, anyways, I can't remember if you stream or not. If you do, I should follow you. Okay, there. Were we caught? We're not caught. Come on! Pick me up, pick me up, pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. There we go. Sheesh. You just got back on Sundays. Okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't wait. Hang on. I need to I need to make sure I'm following you. I think I know I think I was following you. Maybe? But if you haven't been streaming, then I wouldn't be seeing like go lives, so that could that could be why. Ah oh, hey! Dips with the raid, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Welcome in. Moon, I am following you, so that's good. <laughs> that's good. Hey, Uncle Nix, how's it going? Welcome in, everybody. Guys, go check out Dips. Very good friend of mine. Also was playing Subnautica, but I don't know what you were playing today, my friend. They can also be seen playing Outer Lands, Metopia, stuff like that. Fun stuff. I have them. If you're new here, my name is Kemic Zeal. You can call me Kemi, because... It's, it's easier to say, and it's more fun to say, and it's cuter. <laughs> and I'm playing Subnautica right now. The other games I'm working on mainly is Stardew Valley. And I'm going to be starting Chrono Trigger soon. And I also make chiptune music, like that little raid ditty. <laughs> it's not a ditty. Whatever. The little raid tune. I made that. I made that. And I stream uh, chiptune making on Friday afternoons, if you're interested in seeing how that's done. Anyways, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Pull up a chair. Get yourselves comfy. How the heck was your stream, my friend? How the heck was it? Also, I, I don't remember what I was saying, but... <laughs> Maybe it wasn't important. <laughs> oh, I need to mine that. Alright, here's our base. Chrono Trigger, yes! Because we, we had a community thingy for Chrono Trigger. And we got it, like, really fast. Ooh, I wonder if I should bring this key. Probably not a bad idea, right? Not a bad idea. Uh, we're good with power cells. We can leave this egg here. Hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. You just started playing Chrono Trigger for the first time. Nice. I'm thinking... Yeah, it'll be my first playthrough. First time ever, I know very little. All I know about Chrono Trigger is time travel. That's it. And it's made by Square Enix. That's all. That's all I know about it. So it'll be a fun time. It'll be a real fun time. And, uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> I I want to start it. I'm thinking maybe it'll take the Subnautica slots once Subnautica is done. I don't know how close I am to finishing this. Dips, did you finish? Did you finish Subnautica? How far did you get with it? I'm not sure if I'm anywhere near the ending. I'm looking for the volcanic area. Looking for the volcanic place so I can fix this bacterium thing. Disease that I have. Because it's not fun being diseased. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this one I should call food. Food. You didn't finish, you played yourself out on Subnautica back before there was any story stuff in it. Oh man, like early access? Was there no story before? Fortunately, I just don't have the energy to do it again. I mean, that's that's totally fair. I'm honestly... I'm not getting sick of it. I'm not getting sick of it. But I am... Like, it's at the point where everything is scary. <laughs> so... Uh, and the next place I have to go... Reactor rod? Oh, dang. I don't want... I don't want to be doing the nuclear stuff. I saw what happened to the Aurora, and I am not too keen on that. Uh, but I'm at the point where everything is scary, so I'm like, I'm going for the end now. I'm like, I want to... I want to uh, heal this infection. I want to make my spaceship. I got to the point where they're making ham and cheese sandwiches. And uh, they were sending me blueprints. So that I can meet them halfway and get rescued. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm, I'm at the point where I'm like, I want to finish it. I want to be done with the game, but I want to finish it. And then I'm thinking, depending how long that takes, we'll start Chrono Trigger. But I want to start it in September, at least. So. But, uh, yeah, Chrono Trigger I'm looking forward to. I've, I've only heard, like, really good things about it. Also, I missed that. You said you derped around a bit in Star Trek Online and then fix it. Nice. Derping around. <laughs> I don't think I even knew about Star Trek Online, to be honest. I've been playing WoW, so I've also kind of got the MMO bug a little bit. That's probably what I'm going to be doing after stream tonight. Well, that's definitely... I gotta level my Palatin so I can tank from my buddies. I level my, my Palatin dank, I was going to say. Uh, there was some spooky stuff around here, right? Let's... let's. Are you charged yet, sir? I don't know if he's charged yet. He's only been in there like a minute. The Aurora didn't exactly fall to the sky by any fault of its own. Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was shot down. I'm assuming. Because the other- the rescue thing got shot down. Storage. Oh yeah, we can put some titanium away. We should probably just put all this titanium away. Alright, and you've got- oh, you're fully charged. Fantastic. Boop! No, wow, Blizzard sucks. Full the Exodus from WoW to fix it. I hate to say it, I just really like World of Warcraft. I know there's so much controversy about Blizzard and that. Not even just controversy. Like I've I've heard, I've heard. But my my buddy bought me a subscription. I was like, I can't not, you know, I can't not play with them. I'm gonna- I'm gonna stick it to them by having the best dang time. How's that? I thought this was the little person throwing litter in the garbage picture. That doesn't look anything like it. Okay, we have food. We have a key in case we need it. Yeah, we have a nutrient block. That's good. I wish we could make nutrient blocks. Is there no recipe for that? Well, whatever. Whoop. Can I just get in from here? Oh, enter, uh, enter prawn. Nope, not power cell. Nope, that's, that's, enter prawn. Oh god, that's weird. So I think we're gonna go over here more, maybe? Because we found this crazy thing. This thing is gonna pop into existence. Just watch, Just it's just gonna appear. Ah. Uh, there it is. Boop. Just appeared with all these Doc Ock arms and everything. It's pretty spooks. We went in here last time. This was like... So there are aliens that came to this planet. So I'm not talking about like the... Oh, dang. There's stuff down here. I'm not talking about like the animals that live on here. Because technically they're aliens. Like they're alien to me. But they're not alien to the planet. There's a lot of bones down here. But um... 
Oh, dang. I wonder if you're supposed to take the prawn suit down here. This is kind of how it feels right now, is that I'm supposed to be here with this. What the hey is that? Nickel ore. Sure, why not? But, uh... Whew. You're getting this, right? Okay. It's just, like, really hard, I guess. Alright, cool. Grab some water while you do that there, buddy. Personally, I play Final Fantasy XIV but never beat a Final Fantasy game, so it's kind of a tradition I know nothing about the series. <laughs> That's fair. The only- like, I've never beaten one either. Um, the closest is Final Fantasy VIII. I've- I've talked about that before, but I basically made it to the last boss. Presumably. I mean, it is a Final Fantasy game, so who knows? Uh, but I made it right to the end. And then realized that I basically screwed up my playthrough. So I was like, well, I could level grind everybody, like, 50 levels, or I could just, you know, watch a video on YouTube of how it ends. Um, so I think I'm probably just gonna go that route. But, as it turns out... So I, I was keeping Squall with me the whole time, because Squall was awesome, and his little story stuff with Renoa is so cute, and they're just great. And they're just really cool characters in that. So I was keeping them with me the whole time. And then I learned that uh, the, the final boss scales with Squall's level. So that was, uh, that was a nice discovery. Can I scan this? Wrong button. Can I scan this? No, just just big ol' ribs here that we're just gonna leave there? Okay, cool. Cool. Neat. Kinda fell off in Final Fantasy IV in the dungeon due to putting it down and never picking it up. Yeah, I've done that too. I've done that too. I played the first one a lot. I think I got pretty far in the first one. And I never finished it. I'm bad at finishing games in general. Before I started streaming, I barely finished games ever. So I'm, I'm really proud of the fact that I've managed to finish so many games on stream. Ooh, lead. She got some lead. I thought there'd be more stuff to look at over here. But... Yeah. I don't know what that sound was. I don't really want to find out. It was probably nothing. It was probably just that little fishy, right? Where's our base? That way? Oh, we can still go that way. Cool. I think we have enough lead. Let's just go here. See where these Doc Ark- Doc Ock arms go. That's hard to say. Try saying Doc Ock arms. Let me know how you guys make out with that. Oh, dang. Yeah, this is stuff I should be looking at. What the hey? I didn't come over here before because I was scared. Because I'm a scared little baby when it, <laughs> when it comes to games like this. Good. This doesn't go anywhere. This doesn't go anywhere. I don't want that warper to get me because he's going to warp me outside of this prawn suit. Which I wouldn't be the best. It wouldn't be the worst. It wouldn't be the best, that's for sure. It wouldn't be the worst, but I do enjoy being my little Pacific Rim person. How good was Pacific Rim? I gotta watch that movie again. You know, they make a lot of movies these days, but not a lot of films. And Pacific Rim is a darn good film. It's amazing. All practical effects. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. Hey, thank you for the biddies. I appreciate that. How are you doing, Sour? Hope you're having a good day today. Oh man, what are we... Where are we going? Uh... Oh, there's more. There's more, chat. <laughs> oh, there's always more, isn't there? <sighs> this will probably lead out, but I want it to lead to... Oh gosh, there's more down here? Or is this... Oh no, it's just that. That's cool. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay, we're getting scared. <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff in here. I have the drilling arm, so I can just grab, like, all this big old chunks of stuff, because otherwise you can't do anything with it. But... Wait, do we actually get any? I want to at least get some. There, give me a little titanium. Thank you. But if I had 
just the regular hands equipped, I could just pick up all these little things that are along the ground. Wait, what the hey? Is this nickel? Silver? Okay. Silver's good. Gold, copper. Oh. No, that's just a... Okay. I thought that was gonna be something important. It was Look at these guys. Look how cool. He's so cool. That's called a river prowler. Because this place is called the Lost River. Ah! No! Hey! I'll drill you! I don't want to drill you. You're cool. That Stop that! Don't! Ah! Don't make me hurt you! You're one of my favorites. For crying out loud. Sheesh. I don't think we've been over here. No, wait, we have? No, we haven't. Because we didn't go past that big old alien thing. So basically, they were... They were, uh doing extensive research on all the critters that live on this planet. Ooh, is this a water slide? I wanna go down it. Looks like a water slide. It's not a water slide. It's just a little pool. Oh, whale. I guess we're going this way. I'm not sure if this is just a big circle or what, but... Uh... Jeez. We're fine. We're fine, chat. We're fine. We're gonna be just fine. Is that nickel? I will take that. That is copper. I don't need copper. I don't really need anything right now. I mean... Uh oh, is that- Oh! That, yep, that's who I think that is. That's- Uh oh. I don't know how to defend against that guy. Uh, if he comes after me. Uh, we're gonna just cry. So I'm gonna try to stay away from him a little bit. Is this silver? Does this look like the silver? Yeah, it is. Okay. We're gonna just try to stay away from Mr. Ghosty Boy, who I have named Seth. I named him Seth because that... I don't know. Seems like a good ghost name, right? Seems good. Sheesh, that's a lot of quartz. Okay, I'm not sure if we've just made a whole circle here or... Wait, does that look like it goes down? Oh, heck, that looks like it goes down significantly. Oh, yeah, well, here we go, Jet! <laughs> here we go! Oh, crap! No, 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 we can't go down here! We can't go down here! Our suit's gonna break! Rassifus! Oh, no! Dagnabbit, I was all ready to just Leroy Jenkins it. Ah! Shoot. All right, okay, well, dang, what the hey? Where's Seth? Oh, ah, he's right there. Leave me alone, please, sir. Okay, we're getting out. Uh, which doesn't seem like a good idea with that guy right there, but you know what? We gotta leave a little decoy or beacon thing. Is it, did I just... I took the power cell. I didn't want the power cell. I wanted the... this thing. So we gotta put this here. Uh, so that we know. I guess I can go down here. This doesn't make any sense. That I can go down here and my suit can't. Okay. Boop! And we can give it a little name. Don't. Uh, we'll call it... I don't know. I'm not feeling very creative in names. Volcano. 900 plus. 900 M plus, even. Okay, is that your name? You got a name? I do want to go down there. Okay. Whew! I'm gonna go down- I'm gonna go down there. I'm not taking this thing, but I'm gonna go down there. Eat this. I don't need to eat that. Let me get food out of my pocket here. Gosh, this place is- Whew, chat. Whew! Oh, we don't have much- Okay. Alright, well, let's go. See what we can see. Oh, boy. What the heck is that thing? What is this fishy? What is this? Lava larva? I love that it's called a lava larva. That's cool. Okay. Ah. Oh, there's lava. Whoa, okay, no, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning. I can't go down there. 
<gasps> oh! Okay, also he's right there. The warper warped me. And then Seth just... Oh man, but we gotta get down here. Do I get a radio signal? Do I get something? Oh my god. We have to figure out how to get down here. We need something that can increase the crush depth of our prawn suit. We have to find it somewhere. I don't know where it is. You know what? I think we better go... Ooh, it's got some stuff. <laughs> I think we better go to the Aurora. Because there's at least blueprints for the ship there. And there might be stuff here that I need for that too. So I'm not sure. I get, expect me to get the prawn suit over here. Oh, look how cool he is! And scary, but you know. So we gotta get over here to our suit. I don't know how the hay we're gonna get down there. <sighs> Alright. Alright, suit. Ooh, there's all kinds of stuff here though. I want it. I want it. I want it all. And I want it now. Okay. Alright. Oh, there's another one. I want this. Okay. Ugh. Okay, let's uh, peace out. <laughs> Whoo! Alright, we found the place. It's right there. It's uh, very deep, and we can't. I'm so sad that we can't go there, but I mean, I knew we wouldn't be able to go down a kilometer. Never mind, 1.4 kilometers. Sheesh, though. I was hoping... I don't know what I was hoping. I was hoping there'd be, like, some wreckage down here I could scan. Some way that I can increase the crush depth on this puppy, because I... I don't seem to have a blueprint for it. Um... Prawn suit... Oh! Kyanite! What the heck is Kyanite? Wait, do we have a- is Kyanite an ore? Let me see. Hmm. Kyanite. It looks like an ore. There's gotta be Ky- wait, is it- Shoot, I saw blue stuff down there. Do you think that's what it was? Dang that bit. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can grab anything blue down there. I'm gonna keep this guy over here, away from Sethy boy. Or over here, I guess. This is probably fine right here. Yeah, this is probably fine. Yup. Alright. Eat a fishy. Drink a water. And get out of here, and here we go. Alright. Let's see if we can find some kyanite. I have room, right? Yes, okay, we're good. We have room. Kyanite. It's a very glowing fit. There's, you know what? Maybe it's this blue stuff. Oh, there, is that it? Shoot, okay. We just need one, I think. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Oh my god, 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 we're gonna- Yeah, that's definitely it, right? I think that's definitely it. Please tell me I can pick it up. Oh, you're kidding me. How am I supposed to- This is a thousand meters. <gasps> Whoa! There's gotta be some, like, a little one somewhere, right? There's got to be a little one somewhere. How am I not taking damage? There has to be. There has to be just a little one somewhere I can just scoop up. Or grab off the wall. Or something. Is that a lava ray? That would be cool if that's what it's called. Because I don't want to jump down here with my suit. I can't... I can't stay down here with the suit. It'll implode. I mean, I suppose technically I could jump down. Maybe Kyanite can be in here. That'd be nice. Hey, eh? Diamond. I mean, Diamond, I'm not gonna complain about Diamond, but it's not Kyanite. Dang, nab it. 
Ah, oh, that's what we need, though. That's what we need to... Are they? Do they actually want me to go deeper than... Like... I'm gonna have to jump out of here, like... <sighs> Come on, just give me one little... Just one little kyanite somewhere. Can I scan you? Are you a new thing? Lava ray? Lava ray? No, same thing. Oh, yeah, new thing. Crimson ray. I'm sure this guy's nice. Sheesh, come on, dude. There we go. Cool. I see no kyanite that I can scoop up. Oh man, that's where we're gonna go, though. Oh man. I mean, I guess I can jump down here with the prawns. Like, it doesn't die instantly. What do you guys think? Should I jump down here with the prawn suit and just try to get the kyanite? And then... <gasps> Is this a thing? Is this? No. Take that it. Whoa. Whoa. That looks like a shark. We're running out of oxygen. Dang. Dang, da dang, dang, dang. We're gonna save and then I think we're gonna jump off the edge with the prawn suit and then just try to just get one. I think we just need one kyanite and that's it. Yes, I know. I know, dear. Okay. I said just one kyanite, right? Three! Oh boy. Oh, dude. You know what? I think we're due for another break, right? <laughs> for another break yeesh okay we'll take our break we're let me make sure there's room uh in this thing's storage because if i'm mining it goes in this whoops that is q what the heck is q i don't know what q does i was pressing q okay oh yeah we gotta make sure there's room in here and then that way we can mine all the kyanite now we'll save all right, there's Sethy boy over there. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna take a break. We'll listen to more Doggy Me Dance too, and then uh, we'll come back. We're gonna just Leroy Jenkins. We're gonna Leroy Jenkins. We're gonna hop down there. We're gonna try to mine three kyanite, and we're gonna hop back up before our suit dies. Wait, I need to make sure. Ugh, I need to fix it first. I need to repair. We gotta be full strength, because the the crushing is gonna, it's gonna crush it. Uh, but it crushes it gradually, so hopefully we'll have enough of a chance to mine something before the suit dies. And if not, then I'll, uh, I don't know, reload the save, I guess. Okay, last break. Uh, let's go three, uh, five to seven minutes, guys. Five to seven, get some water, stretch your legs, all that good stuff, and we'll be back in five to seven. Have a good break.
Hey, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. All right, we're gonna, we're doing it, right? We're just gonna, we're going. Y'all ready? We're going. I need to see where, okay, so this is where we're gonna jump back up. Where is the Kyanite? I saw it. I saw it right... Sheesh, it's right down there. We have to jump down there and then back up. Because I don't see anywhere else. <sighs> These things are kind of cute. Can I, like, grab them? No? Okay. So I don't see anywhere that I can get the Kyanite. Can I scan this stuff? No, 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 no. I don't see anywhere I can grab that Kyanite without mining uh, that specific one that I saw. Also, we have warpers, uh, which is not good. Oh, also we have whatever the heck these are, and I want to scan them. Oh, and he just warped them away. Thanks, jerk! I was gonna scan that. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I was gonna scan that! <laughs> what a butt. Alright, anyway, so here's the plan, right? Uh, we'll jump down... It's all the way down there. Oh my god. That's like a thousand. Is there anywhere else I can get that from, though? Like... I wonder if there's anywhere else I can get it from without having to go in there. Maybe there's like another volcanic spot that's like not as- oh my god. You know what? There's more stuff over there. I was gonna go, but what if we... Uh-oh. Leave me alone! Leave me alone, please, sir! I'm scared to look, but I can't turn the camera or else I won't go forward anymore. Okay. I think we're alright. Maybe there's some kyanite over here somewhere. Because I just realized that that is very deep. Like, it's very deep. Maybe there's somewhere else we can get it, or another volcanic area where it, like, comes up higher. Sheesh, dude. We'll see, maybe there's more volcanic stuff. I don't know where this goes, right? Maybe there's some closer, like... I was gonna say near the surface, but like near the surface of that area, you know? Oh, wait, could I have scanned the Kyanite? I don't think it would let me scan it, right? One of the largest areas on the planet displaying generally docile behavior. That's good. Uh, and these things. A grub-like species. It's kind of cute. Ugh, except for that. Appears to lack sight and smell, but is able to sense and drain thermal and electrical energy in its immediate environment. Okay, don't get too close. Assessment avoid when piloting vehicles. Remove to conserve batteries. Okay, whoa. Boop, that's cool looking. Alright. Where the heck? Are we getting kyanite from? Oh, I think it's like only in the volcano, but I can't go in the volcano without the kyanite. What the hey? Has anybody here played this? Oh, I want that too and I can't pick it up. Without spoiling, like, oh boy. We're just gonna stay over here. I'm pretty sure he can go through the wall. Please don't go through the wall, sir. Please don't. Okay. Uh, has anybody played- well, Spaceman, you played this. I don't know if you got this far, though. Hmm. I'm just curious if there's an- if that's what I have to do, because it doesn't seem like that should be what I have to do. What's this area? More of that glowy purple stuff. I'm for it. I- I don't mind exploring in this thing. This is kind of rad, you know? I kind of like this. It's not as scary as the sea moth. It feels like slightly safer somehow. And it's not as terrifying as the cyclops. Wait, did I say cyclops the first time or sea moth? It's not as scary as the cyclops and it feels safer than the sea moth. That's what I'm trying to say. What is this stuff? Whoa, look at all this diamond and stuff. Wow.
crazy. No kyanite, though. I wonder if kyanite only shows up as, like, that big... big crystal that you mine, you know? Like, maybe there aren't little ones? <sighs> I really want to just be able to pick them up by hand. Like, I can go down there and pick it up by hand. But... See, I thought there'd be something like this, like the quartz. You just scoop it up. Or a diamond. This is diamond, right? Yeah, there's no way that's kinite. The kinite was like bright blue and it was so pretty. Yeesh. This is such a cool area, though. Like, I don't even mind that it's scary. Um, let's see. Ooh, nickel ore. Let's just get that. We might have to just hop down there. I think I was all set to do it, and then I guess I lost my nerve over that break. I think we should do it. I think we should do it. What do you guys think? Just hop down there, mine it, and hop back up before our prawn suit implodes? Can probably do that. Probably no problem, right? It's probably, probably no big thing. That's enough nickel. No kyanite down here? Not even a little? Not even a teeny, teeny taste of it? This is so amazing. Like, I just... It's scary, but it's so amazing. Like, I'm in this mech suit, in this weird acid water almost a kilometer below sea level like this is all underwater with the with the waterfall and stuff like what how does that even how does that even work how does that even work <sighs> stop oh don't yeah They're cool, though. They're cool. I think they're very cool. I think we have to, guys. I think that's the only option. I think it's the only, only option. Oh, don't, don't. What am I in this? Neat. I don't know what that is. Okay. I think we have to. I think we are forced to. I cannot see another way. I do not want to take this down there and risk blowing it up. But I see no other way. So... Oh god, he's in there. Okay. So we're gonna repair this again. Let me... Dude! Oh god, he's right there. No! Don't! Ah! Don't! Ah! Uh. <sighs> Jerk. Okay. We're saving. And we're hopping, chat. We're hopping. We're just hopping down there. And, uh, hopefully... Oh boy, this is not where I wanted to hop. Hopefully we land where we need to. Come on, game. Where's the car? Oh, why are you there? Please don't be down here when I'm down here. Dude, you don't need to be here right now. Okay, solid land. Alright. I need to scout again because I forgot where it is. Straight down. It's like straight down, straight up. Alright, we can do this, chat. Ready? Leroy Jenkins! Oh my god. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh god, I don't like this. We can do this, though. Come on. It's taking us so long. Come on! 
Once it hits 50, I'm going back up. Come on. How much do we have? God. This thing is so long. My heart's pounding a little here. I'm pressing the right bo click button so hard right now. The dang warper better stay the heck away from me. Okay. We're going back up. Going back up higher. We're a thousand, we're a kilometer under sea level. That is so scary, like. Oh no, we ran out of juice. Land, get some juice, okay. Don't, don't you even. Oh my god. <gasps> no! Don't! Jeebus! Yeah, I know, dude. I know you're not doing so well there. Suit? Eh. Alright. <sighs> Alright. Um. No! Oh, heck no. No. No, 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 no. Do not break my suit. It's all I have. It's all I have. <gasps> Get away. Get away from me. Go away. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. We repair this too sweet. Too sweet. Holy heck. Don't make sounds behind me. Don't make sounds. Don't make sounds behind me, dude, or in front of me, or anywhere. Just stop. Stop making the sounds. Go away. Please. Uh. Alright. Uh. Let's get to Danger House. Let's get closer to Danger House. I hope we have enough kyanite, because if not, there's nothing I can do. Boop! Spider-Man. Here we go. Bonk. I'm mixing my up button with my forward button. Here. We need to go back to our house. Jeebus. I just, you know, let's just, I just want to go back to Danger House. I want to see how bad, uh, how much kyanite we have. I hope- we just needed three. We should have, like, six. At least. Don't! Why are you like this? Huh? Why are you like this? Don't be like this. Can't this thing go any faster! Also, I need water. Okay. Oh great, there's the creepy tentacle arms. Wonderful! Why is that a comforting sight? Why is that a comforting sight right now? Come on, let's go. Hurry it along, hurry it along, let's go. Oh. Uh. Here we are, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, this thing can go faster. I just need to. I just need to make it go faster. <sighs> Am I the only person who makes that sound when I'm like relieved, but also still scared and stressed a bit? Ooh, let's see. Hopefully, we get an inventory full. That would mean that we get a lot of kyanite. Right? That's what that would mean.
I don't like how this, like, motor sounds. Sounds haunted. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can drill more. Cool. We can drill a lot down here. This stuff. Even this is already 850 meters down, right? So, like, what the heck was I thinking? Okay. We need to charge this thing, so let's get in the moon pool. We need some health, too. Or food and water and everything. Need all that. All that good stuff. Oh, I saw the, the tips on that root thing. I was like, what? Is that kyanite? That better not be kyanite. Uh-oh. Up, 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 up. Okay. Like, that better not be heckin' Kyanite. Get me. Thank you. Ah, we made it back, chat! Good job. We made it back. We found the volcano place, so we can do that next time. Sheesh, okay. Please, let there be enough in here. Oh, thank goodness. We got, like, a whole bunch. <sighs> good. Good, 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 good. I wonder if I should put... Whoops, a box in here for stuff. Well, whatever. We'll just we'll just swap some stuff. Um now this titanium and I need this. Whoops, what else do we need for that thing? We need kyanite, which we have. We need the Oh! Oh we have all that! Sweet! We need the depth module. Uh wait, do we not have a depth module in it? Oh my god, you're kidding me. You're kidding me! I could have gone down there! Oh my god! We need the basic depth module. Where the heck? Oh my god, chat, that's depth module 2! There isn't a depth module on it. Oh my god. Where the heck is the... Oh my god, chat, I'm so dumb. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so dumb. Okay. We need two plasteel ingots. Which I think is titanium and something else. We need two ruby and two plasteel. And then what else are we holding that we need? Is it lithium or something? I can't believe... I don't believe it. And nickel. Three nickel. Oh. My god. Sheesh. Plasteel is titanium and lithium. Oh my god. Sheesh. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. We need so much of this. We need to make titanium ingot. And we need lithium. Wow. Sheesh. Sheesh, chat. I'm not being smart today. Alright, we need the first depth module. We're going diving for depth module 2. We don't even have depth module 1. Jeez Louise. Alright, alright. Oh yeah, duh, inventory full. Oh, my god. My god, chat. Don't need copper, we don't need lead for this. Eat that. Oh, we only plant one. Cool. Great. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's actually make... Wait, no, we don't want to make anything. Jeez. Food. I don't know. This one. Dang, this one's almost full too. I know we need two rubies. I know we need two rubies. We don't need any diamonds. Okay. Need another locker is what we need. Here, put these away. Nom on that. Oops. Three spaces. 
me just put a bunch of stuff in here for now. Or just, you know, one something I don't need nickel. Yeah, we only need three nickel. Eat that. And plant this. Yeah, we need we need another heckin' box. I don't care. We need another box right here. Oh yeah, we make the nuclear reactor. That doesn't sound scary at all. Wait, is that a wall locker? We don't want the wall locker. We want the tall locker. It'll fit, it'll fit, it'll fit. Oh. There. We need a quartz. There. That'll free up some space, and we can put stuff in it. Yay! Don't need lead. We need a whole black of titanium. Don't need that. Okay. Well, we ought to pick one up if we can. Okay. Eat that. Plant those. Eat that. Plant that. And eat one of these, and plant that. And maybe... Another one of these. Perfect! Now... We don't need those here. We need three nickel. Okay, we need two plastic ingots, right? So we need four lithium. That's not right. Oy, we need a lot of lithium. Cool. Let me... Hmm. I should build an actual locker here, probably. Actual big one. Okay, we need a lot of titanium. Put away all the stuff that we don't need. Oh, titanium! Shoot, give me that. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We still need two more titanium. I'm sure that my buddy has some. There we go. Is my inventory full? Oh, it's almost full. It's not quite full. Uh, storage. There we go. Oh, he has no titanium. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, shoot. Okay. I'll take this, though. And put that away. Boop. Should put a multi-purpose room and just fill it with, I don't know, titanium stuff. Put three of those in here. I mean, I can make one plasteel ingot at least first, just to stop taking up so much dang space. Here we go. And then this thing is that. Yeah, I don't need that yet. But hey, we'll make our plasteel. There we go. Oof. And can we put that in here for now? Yeah, put the plasteel in there. We need two more of these, one more of these. Take these out and put them over there. Because uh, I don't think we really need stuff over there. Over here, rather. Um, okay, and then what can we move over there? Uh, that's actually probably fine. Don't need quartz for the thing. We don't need that. We do need lithium. We do need that. We do need that. We need that. Tooth can go in there. Uh, 
I want the tooth in here, so I'm gonna take out this egg. Put it in here. Okay. Wait, I should put more stuff away. Uh, let me just put all this away. There, now we can go see our friend. We'll go grab everything he's carrying. And then we can go grind some stuff up and get some more titanium. And we'll get the depth module and everything made, and then I think next time we'll plan on visiting the volcanic place. I thought it was going to be a matter of just going there, but I didn't realize it was going to be so darn deep. Also, we need more water. Shoot, we need more water. Which means we need either table coral and salt. Oh, there was table coral in that other place. I should go get some. Or we can make like a water filtration thing. Hmm. Whoops. Wait, am I holding all this Welcome stuff? Aboard, Captain. Yeah, okay. <sighs> that was scary though, going that deep down. I knew it, I knew it. I knew I was doing something wrong. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, thank you. Okay, there's titanium right over here, I think. Yeah. Whole whack of titanium. And I, I should have finished that one that I started drilling. It was almost done. Now we know where to go for next time. I like this. We'll be goal-oriented. We'll go there, and then I guess we'll go to the Aurora. I'm sure my guy would be dead by now if I was going to be dead in two weeks. I'm sure it's been two weeks since he got the infection. I don't know if there's an actual... Oops. I don't know if there's an actual time frame on that or not, though. And I don't want to know, mind you. I don't want to know. But it doesn't seem like there is. He's been here almost a year. Can you believe it? I've only been playing the game for, like, what, two months? This is episode... I lost track. It might be, like, 15. So we've been playing it for that many weeks. That's a lot of weeks. That's a lot of time spent with this game. You guys aren't sick of it yet, are you? We don't get sick of... Subnautica. We don't get sick of Subnautica. It's such a fun, awesome game. And sometimes terrifying. Let's see if there's anything, any stuff we can grind up down here. Because we should. Oh, there we go. Whatever that is. Let's get it. Gold? Yeah, let's get some gold. Gold is soft, so it should go fast, right? And we're not going over time today. We're not, because I need to go put ice on my neck. <laughs> when I'm done. But we'll get everything all set up. We'll make the depth module. Heck, we'll make the depth 2 module that we're not supposed to have yet. Jeez. Just skipping over the first one. Because you're supposed to have the first depth module, and then you can go get the kyanite. Oh, inventory full. Oh, I have to- I was gonna hop out of here, like, wait a second, I can't stand in this. Here, go this way. I'll grab some stuff out of the storage, and then we'll go down and grab that gold. Alright. Okay, cool. No. Enter front. There we go. Whee! Oh, is that nickel? I think that's nickel. Where was this gold? I think it was over here. Yeah, here it is. Oh, there's like just one. Wait, I can't pick it up? Oh, you're kidding. I can't pick it up. <laughs> I can't pick it up because I'm in this suit. Oh, that's silly. What is this? Gold. I want to see if there's that other yellow thing. That would be so handy. I wonder how much you get from... from these. Oh, silver's a good thing to have. Microbicide? 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 Oh, microbicide. There you go. <laughs> it took me a few tries. Microbicide, so it kills microbes, I guess. Bacteria. 
It's a cleansing thing, I, I suppose. That makes sense. We got seven silver ore. We got nine silver ore. That's four wiring kits in a bit. Oh, I got five wiring kits. I just had a thought. I hope our Cyclops is okay. Hope it's okay. Because if it's not, I don't... Oh, it's still showing up there. That's good. We're not probably gonna go back to it for a while. Okay, so now we definitely have enough titanium. Oh, shoot, I don't think we have enough lithium. <sighs> Heck. We did not pick up any lithium, did we? Mm, we still need two lithium. Shoot. Alright, well... I will put this away, then we'll look for lithium real quick. I think lithium is one I can mostly just pick up, you know? It'd be cool if you can make water out of silver. I don't think you really can. I don't think you really can. Okay. Oh, we need the two lithium. Well, she ute. Plus steel. I feel like I'm eating constantly in this game. Just like real life. No, I'm kidding. I'm half kidding. I'm half kidding. <gasps> okay. I keep picking up extra plants. There. Alright, we're looking for lithium on foot. Sort of. With our little bicycle. There was so much lithium over there. Hmm. There's probably a lithium thing down there, actually. Oh! Titanium. Oh, that's the one I left there. Magnetite. The magnetite looks so cool. Oh, that's lead. I thought it looked a little weird. The lead is super chunky, and then the magnetite is like little pyramids all stuck together. It looks so neat. That's a warper. Bye bye I'm looking for lithium. You know, maybe there's some underwater. I'm gonna have to probably take the prawn suit again, which I am getting used to. That thing is fun to drive. I like- I like the prawn suit. That might be my favorite. What is this? That's quartz. That's not worth going in there for. That is what we call not worth. Okay, what if we... over here, perhaps? Somewhere? Along this thingy. Lithium. Anywhere lithium. Lithium? No. By the volcanoes? No. Oh, table coral. Nice. Uh, we do need that. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, I'll grab that. So we can make some water. That is titanium. Uh, shoot. That's also titanium. This is what? What is this? Is this nickel? Silver? Okay. Oh, there's more stuff down there. I can't really get close enough to see what it is. Ooh, this is a diamond, though. Oh, no, this is the green thing? Oh, it's a diamond. Okay. Uh, but what we really need is lithium. Game, please. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll take the prawn suit. We'll take the prawn suit. Oh, shoot, we are going a little over. Maybe lithium in here? That'd be nice. Titanium. I mean, titanium is always good, too. We always need more titanium. As we noticed, always need more titanium. Okay, I have some room for some stuff here, so... This is the boring part, I guess. Just muling stuff around. Leave the power cell alone. Okay. 
I mean, silver's awesome, right? Silver's good. Oh, we can almost carry it all. <laughs> it's a lot of food. I don't need that much food on me. Okay. Boop. Put this away. All right. Oh, that's full. I didn't realize that was full. <laughs> okay, cool. Is this full? This one's not full, is it? Hey! Queenie with the raid! Welcome in, you guys! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Just got a shout out for you, madam. There you go. <laughs> welcome in, you guys! You probably know me by now. My name is Kemi. Um, I thought I had a burp. Oh. Nope, okay. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't want to be rude. Um, I'm playing some Nautica, which you've probably maybe seen on Queenie's stream already. Um, and I make chiptune music and all that fun stuff. And I'm glad you're here. I hope you enjoy your stay. Although we're not going to be going too much longer. What the hay happened there? Get up! Sheesh. Uh, we're basically just preparing for next time here. I'll get you up to date on what we're doing. But how was your stream? What what did you do? What did you play today? Oh, that was everything. Well, dang. What were you playing today? And hi, Gaspar. And hey, Chris. Oh, you're you're back. You were here, but also also not. Oh man. Crazy. Two places at one time. <laughs> we're looking for lithium down here. Just I'm trying to remember. These are both silver, I think. It's great. Played Yoku's Island Express. Oh, that game is charming as heck. I haven't finished. I've only played it a couple times, but I do like it a lot. It's pretty cool. Is this copper? Dang, no, but that's copper. I need lithium, though. You were in both. Yeah, you. You're a double agent. <laughs> it is very charming. The music is great, too. The music is great. And I just, I love the whole premise. Not premise, but the whole, the pinball mechanics. Guys, if you haven't played Yoku's Island Express, it's great. It's great. You're like this little bug thing. You're a little mail delivering guy. And uh, it's got like ping pong, not ping pong, pinball kind of stuff. It's really interesting. So you're, it's like, how do you describe it? It's like a platformer. It gives, it reminds me of Rayman Legends a little bit with like the art style in that. Um, and it is like that, except the, uh, we have lithium here for crying out loud. It's like that except there's little like pinball flippers all over the place so you have to kind of shoot your little guy around. It's fun. It's really cute. Yeah, it's pinball. It's really cute. It was your first game. It's been a long time since you've been- oh, Subnautica was your first game. How fast time passes. I've already been playing this for like 16 weeks or something. It's ridiculous. So, Queenie, update, because you poked your... Oh, I thought that was Ghosty Boy. Like, you're not supposed to be here. Um, update, because you're since you were in here earlier. We got to the volcano part. I found it. I found the kyanite ore that I needed for uh, depth mark two on this puppy. And I, I was like, all right, we got to get this. And then I realized that... It's just, it's like, a, it's like one kilometer below sea level, and our crushing point is 900 meters. So I was like, well, crap, how are we going to do this? And so I just kind of yeeted myself into the volcano. We Leroy jenkins it. We Leroy jenkins it. We just hopped down in there. We mined all the kyanite we could, and then we hopped back up. And then the, the ghost leviathan attacked us. And it, it was a rough time. It was a rough time. So we got our prawn suit back with 35 health on it. That wasn't very nice. 35 health. And then I was looking at my recipes, and I was like, oh, the kyanite, that's for Mark II, right? That's for depth Mark II. Uh, here, right? So I was like, yeah, that's what I need kyanite for. We got everything else. And then I realized that I didn't even have the first one. I didn't even have this one. I, like, didn't make it or something. I don't... <laughs> but it can already go 900 meters, so I guess I assumed that, you know, I already had it installed. So I jumped into a volcano that I didn't need to. <laughs> jumped in there for no reason. And it was scary, and I was like, this is weird that they would make me go in here when I don't have the depth for it. 
I, you know, I should have put two and two together, but hey. So that was a fun little adventure. Do you know have the grappling hook? I do, but I'm still just getting used to it because I only made that last time too. Where is the heckin... But even with that, it was scary. Where is some heckin' lithium, though? For Pete's sake. So then I realized that we're gonna just make Mark II right off the bat. Whee! But I need some lithium, because I need to make Plasteel for Mark I. So at this point, I just want to get everything all set for next time. And the next time, we're just gonna go, like, straight into the volcano. And it's really exciting. And I think it's gonna be more and less scary. I think it'll be more scary because it's like super deep and there's gonna be all kinds of stuff there. Um, you know? And there's like, I think I saw some scary sharks or something and I was gonna scan them in the warper just, you know, got them out of there, so that sucked. Um, but I think it'll be a little less scary too. I think the atmosphere will be less intimidating because it's not dark, it's bright because of all the lava, which is also scary, but you know. Um, and that's where we're at. So right now I'm just looking for lithium. Still have a few creatures to encounter. <laughs> yeah, well, we found the Crimson Ray and the little lava larva. <laughs> I I do have a ways to go still, but we have um, we have to go back to the Aurora to get the blueprints uh, for the ship that we can make it off. So the end is in sight. I'm hoping to be done within a couple more weeks, but I really I really don't know. I'd like to think I'm past the halfway point at least, but I mean I don't want to be playing this for a year. I'm having a blast with this game, but I'm I'm like ready to finish it and move on, you know? And I think that we'll put Chrono Trigger in this slot. Grappling hook is a lifesaver sometimes. Yeah, it it is. I keep kind of forgetting about it, but it is fun to sort of like Spider-Man around. Oh shoot, this is yeah, this is it. Eh? We already we went a little far. But yeah, we just we hopped down there with our 900, you know. But we're gonna leave now. Whoops, that didn't. <laughs> but that's what we did. We just hopped down there, even though we only had 900 meter crush. Can you not? At least he's where he's supposed to be now. Not like in the starting area. Whoop. Alright, I'm getting out so I can try to whack these things. Whoops. That is the light. He's <laughs> gonna... Alright. How's our storage situation here? Okay. No, not power cell. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, thank you. I feel so welcome aboard. Where is the gosh darn lithium? I swear I passed like big chunks of it. And I can't find it. I think you have 72 hours in this game. I'm at like 78 or something, so yeah. Did you. You, so you haven't beaten it yet, right? Or... No, you played it a while ago. Did you beat it? Or did you just move on from it? Dang, and, and this was your first stream game. Where's some heckin' lithium? Oh my god. What does lithium look like? It looks kind of like the lead, I think, right? It looks like the little lithium block except big. Actually, there was one place where I was just grabbing it off the walls. Dang, that guy is big. I think it was actually, uh, like, over there. I was grabbing it off the walls, wasn't I? I thought I was, anyways. It's copper. Alright, lithium, 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 come on. You did beat it. So you were more efficient than me. <laughs> I keep getting lost and stuff. I spent almost all of tonight looking for the volcano place. Um, at first I was like, oh, I remember there being volcanic stuff in the jelly shroom, like the purple area, right? So I went there. And I went and I hopped in the volcano there and it didn't do anything. So I was like, oh, there's just, there's just like shoots here, like, like lava geysers. Uh, but no actual place, right? The lead looks so cool. Um, and then I was like, oh, it's probably in that blue area, right? The blue glowy ball place. So I was kind of looking around like the that, that blue scary area. 
Is there lithium down here? So this is as far as we got, was like this place. See? You are too- no, get away. You're too loud, dude. How can he be so territorial when he doesn't even belong here? I mean, he does, but he- they said he's uh, migratory, right? So he didn't come from here. Wait, is lithium in these ever? I can't remember. I thought it was, but it might just be one that you pick up, like the quartz. I've seen it that you can just pick it up. I thought it was both, which doesn't make any sense in hindsight. Oh boy. Is this lithium? Titanium. That's silver. That's gold, and that's gold. Had a few people who gave you helpful tips where to go. Yeah, I've got I've got a couple helpful people too. They just weren't here today, so I was like, oh crap. <laughs> but we finally found where we're supposed to go, so that's good. Um, also, I have to go to the Aurora and get those blueprints. Is this copper thing? Of it. Copper is usually orange, but it's hard to see down here. Come on, where's all the lithium? I swear, I just saw like so much dang lithium. I saw a big chunk of it somewhere and I can't find it. Bro, you need to you need to settle down, please, and thank you. Just just quiet down over there. Just chill in the corner or something. Ay ay ay. See, I'm supposed to be done now, but I'm stubborn. I want my lithium. Because I don't want to be hunting for lithium at the beginning of my next stream. Although that might not be a bad thing, like a warm-up, you know? Instead of like, alright, we're hopping the volcano right now, like it might be good to walk around looking for lithium get this because you never have too much titanium. Beacons helps you a lot. Yeah, yeah. Me too. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, the beacons are very... I'm so glad we have beacons. I wish I had like a map though. Because sometimes it's kind of hard to tell where stuff is just looking for the beacons. Like, even though you can see them, you know, through walls, which is super handy. You can turn certain beacons off if you don't want to see them. Yep, I know. I think I turned one off by accident, actually. And I was like, where the heck is this one? Speaking of which, we should check on the Cyclops to make sure it's still alive. Not being attacked by anything before we save our game. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. It's fine. I don't think it gets attacked if I'm not in it, but I am not confident about that. So. Copper. Don't care. Okay. Sheesh. This place is so noisy. Alright, back to base. Back to base. Uh. So, I don't... I'm assuming that I'm gonna need some kyanite or some kind of volcano stuff for the ship. Um, because otherwise it would be just going there to get rid of the bacteria, I guess. Get rid of the infection. Which I don't know how important that is. Otherwise... Like, I don't know how important that actually is. I don't know if it's gonna kill me. Because I think it should have done so by now, but I don't really know. Where's my gosh darn lithium? Come on. Unless it gets the fishies that feast on, on the battery, or leeches, or whatever. Oh, those lava larvae? I read that about them because I scanned one, and it said that. I was like, oh no. I don't want to deal with that. But, oh yeah, so I guess those would bother the Cyclops if I'm not in But the Cyclops is nowhere near that. Cyclops is pretty far away. So that is... Wait for the dust to settle so I can see. That's titanium and that's also titanium. That's also titanium? I don't think any of these are lithium. I'm gonna check that one though, because it might be. I'm pretty sure it's titanium. You can kill your batteries. That sucks. Uh, I have a million extra batteries on my on my Cyclops though in a box. Is that you making that noise? Can you not? Danger house. Gotta go back to danger house. I can't find any dang lithium. I thought it was like right here. But no. Should 
Probably be using the grappling hook more, eh? Ah! <laughs> Face planting. I'm glad you don't take damage from that. You had your parks pretty close to the lava since you made a base somewhat close. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to make a base there. Uh, I don't want to, but I might have to. Where is the gosh darn lithium? I thought there was lithium down here. Isn't there one in the water, maybe? I think it might be in the water. Or whatever the heck this is. We That's titanium. Ah. Okay. That is not lithium. That is not lithium. Alright. Uh, we might have to leave lithium for next time. Might have to leave the lithium for next time. <laughs> I will check this little corner and... Is either of you lithium or are you both silver? Both silver. Okay, dang. Well, okay, so next time that'll be a good warm-up though, I guess, right? It'll be a good warm-up. Where's my base? There it is. Okay, so here's the plan, you guys. Here's the plan. We're gonna go offload all our stuff, unpack, unpack this, unpack this thing. Stop making scary noises. Everything down here makes scary noises. You just, you sort of get used to it though. But it's, it's pretty bad. Like, I noticed that I was hearing the spooky sounds, even when I'm not playing the game. Like, I quit the game and I'm still hearing it. <laughs> Because it's so ambient and so, like, subconscious. Okay, so we'll eat some stuff. We're... This is full and I'm full too, I think. Oh, that's not full. Okay. So, we'll go offload our stuff in the base. I'll leave a note for myself so I remember what to do. But next time we're going to look for lithium so we can finish off the depth modules. I can't believe I have no lithium. Like, what the hey? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, you're kidding me. I'm just gonna dump all this in here. I'm gonna eat some plants and then we'll call it. Oh my god, that one's full and that one's full. Holy smokes. Well, we gotta just make another locker, I guess. Right, make another locker. And we need a quartz for that, so shoot. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, heck. We have no room for anything. No, we do. We have this one. Boop. Grab our quartz real quick. Build this, and then we'll throw a bunch of stuff in here. I think I'm so elusive. I know, right? It's like, where the heck is it? Sounds will haunt you forever. They will. They actually will. I'm sure of it. Going to sleep, and I'll just hear like, I'm like, what was that? Oh, yeah, on the table crawl. I forgot about that. Okay, I don't want to have stuff in the wrong box. That's gonna drive me nuts. So, boop. Now, uh, let's eat some of this before we get like totally dehydrated. Do, 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 do. Eat that. Marble melon is the best, I think, right? That's what, what I've been told. Okay, there. So we're good on food. We're good on stuff. Our prawn suit is safe. This is a good place to save. So we're going to save it and leave for next time. Next time we're going to get our uh, deep, deep diving stuff. And then we'll go in the volcano. It'll be good. I'll have to think of a volcano pun. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And thank you for the raids. And thank you to everybody who stuck around from the raids, too. Because that means a lot. You know, especially, like, I know you've just been watching a stream. And you come in here, you, you know, it's nice that you want to hang around a little bit. I appreciate that. Um, let me see where I can send you over to here. We've got... 
We do not actually have... We don't have a ton of people online right now. Hmm. Hmm. What if we go and raid... Um. Shoot, who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? We've got... Oh, we've got Raptor Lily. I didn't even see her. She just, like, snuck in there. We've got Raptor Lily playing Mario Kart 8. We will go and see her. Here's your raid spam. I will see you guys bright and early for Stardew Valley. Yeah, MK8. I don't think she's playing with the... Uh, I don't know if she's doing online or, or what. But we're gonna go see my friend Raptor Lily. Um, she does have a mature warning on there. She swears kind of a lot, but she's good people. <laughs> she's got a great community. Very, very nice people. She's playing Mario Kart. So thank you guys again so much. I really appreciate you guys hanging out and everything. And I'll see you guys bright and early for Stardew Valley. Have a great night. Bye.